Oops. You understand why people watch this stream, right? You get yeah. Because they want to see how stupid I am every freaking time I go on the air. still not on the screen screen is frozen and welcome to Perry Caravello live I'm Perry Caravello and you are not all right um I have I have some nasty stomach issues this morning I've been pooping like crazy uh since like 5 a.m I've been just and it's just driving me nuts I mean I think this is like the sixth time I've gone poop so far this morning and it's 5 a.m. poop, 5.30 poop, so, you know, just, just poop, 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 I can't stop pooping. Uh, I'm drinking water, dehydrating, or, or to hydrate myself. I'm, of course, the host of Perry Carvel Live. This is, of course, Mailbag Friday. Mail's in the bag. I haven't gotten any mail sitting on the stool because of me pooping all the time. So forgive me, folks, all right? I, I, I did, like I said, I got a stomach issue today, and I don't know why. Ugh. I don't know why. I mean, I think it's got something to do with the mustard and, and, and the uh, other garbage that was on that hot dog that I got last night. Um, <clears throat> that's also why I'm late today, so please forgive me, okay? I'm... Um, I'm all out of poop aids right now. I got to go to Costco after the stream in a couple hours. Okay, I don't want to be streaming till three in the afternoon. I want to get done around noon or one, the latest, the latest, so I can get over to Costco and get all my pooping aids, my lactate pills, my my Imodium or my uh, other stuff that's stronger than Imodium Advanced. Um, ugh, I got my lactate pills over there. Got some, got stuff in my pouch. Uh, got another box somewhere. Kitchen. In the bathroom, I mean. Um, late night, I went, uh, or last night, I mean, I went to uh, Gino's East, and like I said, I had a Chicago dog and a salad. But uh, that shouldn't have, that shouldn't be uh, what's giving me this stomach issue. Uh, other than the mustard that, uh, is like an allergy uh, thing in my system because I <sighs> Ugh. anyway. <sighs> All right. Um, I forgot to tell them that. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell them not, not that I just hate mustard, but that it's like an allergy. It's a food allergy. Not only do I hate the taste of mustard, but it's like a, like a food allergy. With mustard and relish and shit, that stuff just... Pff. And I don't even think I can can go to the races this weekend because of my, my shit problem. So, I would like to go, but if I'm going to have a problem tomorrow, then Sunday I'm screwed. i just sit in front of my computer and watch the races. Because standing in line to use the toilet is not what you want to do, especially when you're pooping your pants. Uh, <laughs> just, just the thought of that. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, God. Oh, my God, that's just disgusting. Just the thought of that. You know, you're, going, you're, you're standing in line waiting to use the toilet, and you're all of a sudden you're, you're starting to fart and you know, shit your pants. Ugh. Well, that means no food deliveries today. Absolutely, positively, zero food deliveries are allowed today. Okay, I have a stomach issue, and the stomach issue meant rice this morning, which I had. I had my, my uh, steamed rice this morning. Okay, steamed rice, uh, uh, Kerrygold butter, of course, uh, which is the only butter I can 
having my my uh, system because of my stomach issue. But um, no rice. I mean, nothing more than rice right now. Um, and, and a sip of blue machine, blue blue or and or green machine, a little later. Uh, and I'll probably have a salad for dinner or something. But um, ugh. <laughs> I also want to thank this stream. Well, why is that going away? I want to, th I want to thank you folks for, every for everything you guys send me financially and everything. Help me pay my bills. There we go. Uh, thank the stream. Would you stop moving the fucking stream? Hey, garbage, garbage mouth. mouth. I'm trying Stop to, it! Excuse me. I'm trying to fix something on your end. So, uh, sorry for swearing. Knock it off. Stop it. Stop messing with my stream. Okay, you're just talking right now. You don't need to see yourself right now. You're just talking. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 and I don't feel good. So that's my problem. None. Uh, Perry, again, just ignore you not being able to see yourself on the screen right now. Okay, just talk again. Can you talk to the audience, please, while I fix this? I, I don't know what to say because oh, of my you were just stomach. thanking. Didn't you have a big dentist bill last night? Yeah, yesterday you had to pay. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank no, you, thank you for thank helping them. me being able to make my dental payment. Okay, and I'll be got to go back in two weeks for the the second part of uh, of yesterday's appointment. Okay. And among us, dental bill that uh, paid for uh, the cap that's going to have a temporary cap now, and I got to have a permanent cap in two weeks. Uh, never be able to pay that bill without this stream. So now thank you, folks, for uh, helping me out with that. Okay. <clears throat> now I saw a cute and funny list online last night, and I'm going to go to that right here, right now, and I'm going to read it off to you folks. I don't want to cover it up. All right, so the top 10 states with the most assholes, okay? From 10 to 1. The most assholes, starting with Illinois. I don't know why Illinois has got the most assholes, but uh, Illinois, then Michigan, number 2. <laughs> or number, or no, actually, in Illinois is number ten, Michigan number nine, Ohio number eight, Nevada number seven, Texas number six. Hey, hey Perry, Biden. hey Perry, hey, time out, time out. You know, you came up with this on your own. You printed it out, and I, when you said you were going to do this, I said take a beat and don't rush through everything. Did you ever see David Letterman do a top ten? I mean, you're just railroading right through it. I haven't seen David Letterman in ages. Okay, but so, have you ever uh, seen a host where they're reading a list and you you, you don't come up for air? It, 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 the the list means nothing when you're just rapid firing it. Well, I mean, I, I expand on Illinois. Why why to Illinois? Why has Illinois got a bunch of assholes? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm born born and raised there till the age of ten, then came to uh, right down the street from where I live presently. Before I did the rounds of Palm Springs, Costa Mesa, and back to the valley again, but uh, I don't understand why Illinois is, uh, you know, number ten on this list. I mean, there's uh, forty more states than uh, than being uh, the tenth of the biggest states of assholes. Michigan, number nine. I can understand why Michigan's got a bunch of assholes, but uh, leave that to the auto workers too, and then their uh, rudeness. Uh, Ohio, again, I, I I got a close friend from Ohio, and she's very sweet. So, so, uh, <clears throat> and I had another friend uh, from Ohio that uh, was the Sam Kennison look like, but that, that that that's years ago. Anyway, uh, Nevada. I don't know why Nevada would be loaded with. Uh, a bunch of a-holes, but then again, you never know, okay? You got gamblers out there that want to just steal, steal, steal. Texas is number six for uh, assholes being the sixth month. California is number five for uh, top-ranked assholes. Uh, 
Florida's number four. I can understand why Florida would be up here. But, uh, uh, you know, my, my, my uh, friends, the Trumps, they're not assholes. They're very nice people. But they're originally from New York, which is number three for the biggest uh, state of assholes. Massachusetts is number two, but Dale Bozio's from Massachusetts, and she's a real sweet girl. So, uh, and I love her to pieces, like like uh, a big sister. Anyway, she's a sweet one. Okay, all right. And the number one state for the king of all the assholes is New Jersey. Jersey Shore, that's a nice place. People are nice when I was over there. Anywho, all right. I, I guess it's the other way around. So uh, Jersey, Jersey should be number ten, and Illinois should be number one. <laughs> uh, kindly like us on YouTube, folks. You know we don't have enough YouTubers uh, that are um, actually dedicated to this. They're just they just click on and click off. Be dedicated. <clears throat> you know, ship me a few million dollars, I can use it. I mean, you know, everybody's a billionaire these days. Except for this whole semi-homeless guy. Uh, Barry, we ordered you OG Kush rolling papers. I don't want rolling papers and some glass bongs and pipes so you can begin your weed smoking era. I'm not a smoker, and I won't smoke weed, moron. Wake and bake stream 420 blaze, blaze it. No, 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 what do you mean? That's, tomorrow's 420. I'm not, uh, oh Christ, probably be in bed sick because I'm sick now. Ugh, sick of being sick. That's the problem. Harry, I know you have a guitar in bunker 102. You should clean the strings with Vaseline when. Then coat the guitar with a protective layer of blue machine. Never am I going to fuck with my guitar. It was a gift from a very good guitarist who's no longer with us and his wife. All right. I love her to pieces like a little like a little sister to me. OK. Yeah. She's now up in Northern California and and, uh, and uh, living up there with uh, friends and family and whatnot. But um <clears throat> oh god. Anyway. Perry has agreed to fist fight Jim and Orlando. I'm not going to Florida. Number one, Florida is off the charts. I, I get off the plane. I, I here I here I am. Here I am getting off the plane in Orlando, Florida. Because I can barely move, okay? Yeah, the humidity is so atrocious right now here, and I know it's like that. It is only in the fifties right now over here. I woke up; it was fifty-five percent humidity today, and it's. It, I, I get like this when the humidity is like over thirty something. I get like, and then when it's in the eighties, I'm really a mess. Loser gets put in convalescent home and will never be heard from again. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's read that from the top. Okay, some act, some whack job I, from medical doctor, MD, or, or moronic douchebag. Perry has agreed to f fist fuck or fist fight Jim in Orlando, Florida for the rights to PCL. I'll blow it out your ass. Loser gets put in a convalescent home and will never be heard from again. Well, I'm not going to Orlando and I'm not going to a convalescent home. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. LA, I stay. Kabish, thank you. Ugh. Ugh. I never, no, 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 more. No. Perry, when you allowed Randy to kiss your meat whistle, was it before he gaped your cavities? Question mark. Which did he s stretch out first? Question mark. Me and Matt C wa wanna try to. 
never, ever, ever, ever. Good day. Ow. Oh, this sucks. There's no makeup for your greasy Italian skin. Remove the tattoo. Go away, loser. Kindly like us on YouTube, please. And mailbag fr Friday, right? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. Here, let's grab this. Looks like a battery. It's a battery on the on the outside of this box, but it feels like it, that's all that's in here is. There's that, and then there's this box. And this big thing. I'm gonna open this first. Because Psyllium husks powder. What? Hey, dude. Might try this powder to help firm up your poops. Add to juice to make it uh, taste better and uh, drink it immediately after adding to water. Love the stream. Peace from Jason Moore. Well, you know what? Lo and behold. <laughs> ah! Lo and behold, what do I need? Something to firm up my shit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Take you on the floor. Boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, well, what else is in here? Okay, these are receipts. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. That was nice of you. All right, let's... <clears throat> Open up this box with the battery thing, Majee. Why such a big box for something so light? That's why. My beautiful baby, I don't want to see you lose your job to Perry Robo Velo. <clears throat> I have sent you a pair of robot glasses with the hope they with, with make you a better streamer. Wear them with pride from the real Yergi. I'm not interested in your idiot glasses knucklehead but this is what the box shows can you just take yeah. them out Perry and show them please yeah and then it's got uh Two batteries in here. And it says wipe one, wipe two. I don't know why. Let me, let me see what this is all about. Because it's... <coughs> what? 
What? What? what? Oh, shoot. Here, Perry, I have something that's going to make it easier for you. The Real Yuri is offering you 20 bucks if you would wear the glasses for 30 minutes. So, 30 minutes you can wear those. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I mean... I mean, what could be more clear about it? Oh. I gotta, I gotta first get this battery, these batteries in here, okay? Okay, this might take a minute. Take a little time here. Doesn't it already have batteries in it? Like, is, is it? No, like... it's got batteries sitting right next to me. Oh, okay, so it's, it came with it. Got you. Yes. There's that. That's that side. Okay. And all this side. again oh please can you at least get this done first oh, God. I understand that nature calls I have but... a problem getting this fucking bag open so I ripped the bag okay bags no more bag no more wipes one and two I'll go there Let's get this over here. And I'm not answering that door. Sorry. That's in there. So now that's on. I take these There's off. a really nice older gentleman, Perry, waiting for you to, to get this bag. Can you just please get it and bring it in with the glasses? Thank you. Yes. Just be polite. Yes, sir. Hello, for pizza. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not eating this. Just bring it back over. I'm not eating anything oh, oh, from these. Right, let's just see what's inside. God, oh, baby. Stop it, man. They never leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh, it looks like a breakfast sandwich, bro. You could take a bite. Yeah, sausage McMuffin, extra American cheese. Just Thanks, take a bite. Thanks, asshole. One bite. Fucking idiots. Hey, it's, I forget that it's breakfast there. Uh, that's a nice thing to send. Why don't you say thank you? Uh, I did. Didn't I? Okay. I, I don't know. I just I'm heard sorry. asshole. Thank you. All right. It's, it's all it is is sausage, two things of cheese, and a freaking muffin. Ugh. Back to the toilet. Uh, well, hold on. Before you go, Perry, uh, I got a quick offer here. Fifteen dollars no, for you to take a huge sniff of your streamer chair and briefly describe the smell. So, if you could smell the chair you're sitting on, like getting on your knees and like really get a good whiff, it's from TMZ. Leather. That's all I smell. You smell leather, that's all you smell? That's all I smell. 
Right, back to the toilet. Sorry, folks. All right, can we make it quick? Bring you got your phone with you in case we need to do some pulling. What's in the a? pocket? All right, go ahead. Yeah, Keep the glasses off. on because you got paid. Glasses to, on. Well, you got paid to wear those for thirty minutes, so that includes poop. Sorry about this, guys. It was a uh, been a poop catastrophe all morning. Uh, he called me um, saying that he doesn't think he could stream today because of uh, the constant pooping that's been going on since I, I don't know, roughly 5 a.m. his time. So uh, we, it might be just one of those streams where he's uh, up and down. Now, I don't know what got in his head that he went to Geno's East last night and got a Chicago dog. Like that just doesn't seem like the normal thing that he uh, he orders. So, but hey guys, uh, hey uh, everybody on Twitch. I did say that we'll do uh, Twitch for now on Fridays as well, not Wednesdays though, unless it's a gaming stream. And even then, I don't even know. We'll see. But anyway, welcome everybody. Hope everybody is having a good Friday. Hopefully not too many people getting killed in the stock market. Been a bad week for the market. Anyway, I'll play some music and uh, hopefully he'll come back. And uh, if he doesn't, we'll do some poo and A. What's poo and A? Well, you guys send in just regular questions from the regular chat. Regular questions, nothing triggering, and I'll pass it on. We'll do a little poo and A. <laughs> it's Twitch, I'm dying, somebody says. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of time. Why don't I sing a song? I'm not. I don't have a singing voice at the moment. Um, I can't do anything uh, cowboy. I can't do cowboy man because cowboy. You, you, you know. Let me tell you something about cowboy man. Here it is. I am so annoyed at. Uh, the YouTube copyright's just so crazy. So even that stupid cover song of Cowboy Man that I played last week, and normally I've played that without incident, it just goes under the radar because it's like a cover version. Even that got snagged for copyright saying that it was the melody of the song. Now that, it didn't block the stream or anything like that, but it's like, you know, it's revenue sharing. It's just so, it's just so annoying. Um, that's the cheesy version that I, you know, you guys know the one, the, the cover. So it's just so aggressively copyright. And I'm just limited to, especially now if it's a Monday stream, I take that down anyway and then repost it on Patreon. So I could play whatever if in a situation like this. I'll play anything. You know, I'll play, I'll play ACDC, uh, you know, uh, Cowboy Man up and down because I can always cut it out for the re upload. But on a stream like this, where it's supposed to stay on YouTube, I got to be careful about uh, what I play. Um, so, I'll just... Uh... Unlike Weather Matters, <laughs> where we never ask about the weather, we stick to poop talk, talk during poo and a. That's true. Uh... Uh, someone says they've been taking a bath this week in the market. Yeah, it's sorry to hear that. If you ever get, if you ever hear me um, get real cranky on a Friday with Perry, I'm doing, I'm doing one of two things. I'm either working, like actually my real, real job, working, multitasking, or I'm looking at the stock market stuff and seeing it like f up, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm getting really like irritated. And then at the same time, Perry's like not agreeing to do his offer or whatever, and I, I you know, maybe get a little uh, testy, crank, cranky, cranky Tom. <laughs> So that's you. I'm, I'm usually multitasking heavily on Fridays. But all right, I'm going to play. Let's see. Oh, how about some rap and Randy? I'm Randy Callahan, and I'm here to say they reset me off in a major way. His penis got hard, so you know he's gay. Got it psyched out just then he ran away. Alone in my office, chilling and such. Now, Perry, you interrupted rapping Randy. Whatever. How was the poop? Watery. 
All right, let's what? do one more mailbag and then we'll take a break from that. Since I gotta wear this garbage on my eyes, which is making me dizzy as shit. For 20 more minutes. Ugh. 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 Yeah, I'm getting dizzy with these things on my eyes. What is this? Cool light. Mm. And I don't know. Keep this thing. This. I don't, I don't, I don't know. What is it? Piece of plastic. Is, oh, is that like for the nose bridge, maybe? I don't, I don't, oh, I... thank you. Yeah. Duh. Uh. Yeah, there we go. There. Okay. Yeah, thank you for. Does that make you that. more comfortable? I guess. I don't know. I'm stupid, okay? Wasn't thinking about that. Yeah. Nose bridge. Um, I'm very upset at myself right now that I upset my my old friend Danica the other day, and I really am very sorry about well, if, that. If, if people missed Weather Matters on Wednesday, uh, why don't you um, why don't you explain that? I don't even know what, well, why I I lost my mind. Okay, I don't know why. And someone sent me a bag of almond M and M's. I love these things. I love them the pieces. Thank you very much for Almond. Well, this might be a love short-lived Almond. relationship, Perry. Is there a note with that? Yeah, I can't read a effing thing on there. It's all blurry. All right, permission all right. permission to uh, remove the glasses to read the note. Okay. Permission to remove the glasses to read the note. Thank you. Oh, get rid of being dizzy. Okay, well, not permanently. You're going to put them back on because you still have 15 minutes left. I know. I know. Ugh. Okay. Baby, it's Linda Johnson, former Playmate pet, and woman you paid for sex. Yeah, thanks. Will you come visit me in Florida? You need to get way less fat. Eat a bag of... Uh, a bag a day of healthy almond M&Ms instead of uh, your poison Skittles from Linda Johnson. Babe, I will never eat that poison shit that I've got sitting here called Skittles. Never eat it. Out of the question. Almond M&Ms are the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll save this little note with the rest of those Scarlet and Danica and Ginger and Sherry and... All right, get those other glasses back on and take a break from mailbag. Just 15 minutes left on these. Okay. And you know what? Uh, let me catch up on a couple of things here while I am on mic. These things make me dizzy. What? These crazy glasses uh, make what, me what, what, dizzy. Like, what is it about? Is it about the light? Uh, the light. I, I mean, I my my vision's messy because it's uh, it, it's weird. Okay. Um, we well, only got you got twelve minutes left, so let's just deal with that. Um. Okay. <laughs> Did that, you did that. Let me get to a couple of Tom's tips. Tom's tips are read by me, Tom. You cut to the front of the line and all proceeds of Tom's tips help out. Who, Perry? They go to you, uh, Jim and Garrett. They don't go to me, but they do go to Jim and Garrett. PCL offers at gmail.com. Uh, get in touch with Jim and get yourself a Tom's tip. This one was sent in by Perry. This must have been uh, very early this morning when you first woke up. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't know 
whoever sent these, just use my name. But go ahead. I don't think you can do that. But anyway, it says voicemail from Perry. Tom, it's Perry. It's 5 a.m. my time. And I... (laughs) It sounds exactly like... It sounds like exactly like the one you left me, so it has to be you. Uh, Tom, it's Perry. It's 5 a.m. my time. And I just had another gross, uh, disgusting, watery shits. You know, the ones I have all the time. Okay? I want to confide a secret to you about 7-Up. It is not a stomach a stomach settler, and it actually gives me an upset stomach and ma- makes no, me belch. Wrong. wrong. It has more sugar well, in it than helps. Sprite, and it's way, way, way more sweet. I can't taste the difference between Sprite and Seven Up either. I would never admit that before, but I'm admitting it now I'm as I'm taking gonna, my water. I'm never gonna say. It's actually Skittles that settle my stomach, and if you look. In my m and package, you will liar. find them full of yummy, delicious, stomach-settling Skittles. I will never admit what? this on the air. In fact, if you ever say this on the air, I will say lie, and I will sit there in the chair and call you a liar, but know that it's the truth. And it goes right there. Got it? Meaning it's trash. I will never admit this to my demonic fans, even though if you tell anyone that I told you this, I will call you an idiot and deny it. Good day, over and out. Well, thank you, Perry. Uh, can you please put those back where they were, please? Thank you. Oh, please, you're a pain in my butt. I uh, gotta do that to you. You gotta do that to me. Yeah, I know. Just, just put them, just put them back where they were. Those aren't even Skittles. Bean boopers. Yeah, so leave them alone. Put them where they were. Bean, whatever they were. Put them where Warning, they were, please. Extremely hot. Extremely hot. Okay, put them where they were, please. Ugh. I'm not eating them. That's for damn sure. Okay. Uh, nope. Here is a Tom's tip from our friend Sketch317. Hey, Perry, buddy. Listen, nobody gives an F if you go snowboarding tomorrow, next week, or the next stream. Nobody cares. We are removing the tattoo because you lied about being a snowboarder for over 30 years and because you're si- you signed oh. a legally binding contract with Tom to oh. remove your tattoo. Oh. Men holding hands, never, cheers from Canada. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. Tattoo removal is not allowed off of my body. Got it? Never gonna happen. Hey, Goon Master, I heard that if you keep acting up, your boss, Jim, will fire you from the stream and have Kenny replace you. <laughs> Kenny's not an actor, I am. Imbecile. Kenny's my oldest crook in the family. <laughs> Steal my frickin' job from me, thief. You sit there. Go there. <sighs> hey, baby, let's get sloppy tonight. I am going to spoon feed your asshole tapioca pudding, and when it's full, I want you to spray it on my face. No, not allowed. Ugh, you're 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 weird. Weird, 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 weird. Not allowed. You're not allowed here either. Ugh. Hey, my little piggy. I'm bringing a dress and saddle for you to wear. I want to grease you up and ride you around like a piggy rodeo. Go away. Go away. Oh my goodness, this is just... (sighs) Okay, Perry, you gotta say more of these than go away. You can't just say... Well, you know what? No, I don't want to know what. I just want want you to do your job. I just want you to do your job. My job is basically done today because my stomach. No, it's not. 
Okay, Perry, there's plenty of times where I do this job where I'm not feeling well and I, and I barrel through it because that's what people do. Yeah, well, you are not in my position with my stomach issues. No, I'm not. Thank You're you. right. You're right. But, Perry, I need you to barrel through and focus on the stream, okay? Good for you could sit up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, try harder. All you do is bitch and complain like a little child. I mean, no, I'm please. doing my job as a director, Perry. I'm trying to get you to... Your job as the director is to treat me with some respect, you know? No, no, that's actually not in my job description, Perry. And you know what? I wouldn't say anything if you were doing your job right. My job is not a job today. It's... it's, it's, it's no, it it's is. sitting on the toilet. No, it, it, it is. It is, Perry. Again, it is. You got eight like minutes it. left of that, so keep them up. I don't like these stupid things. They're, they're they're messing with my eyes and it hurts. Ugh. Tom, don't worry. I got a new laser removal gun and I'm on my way to Barry's to remove his god awful fake snowboarder tattoo for you. Jim said it was okay. Not allowed. All right. Please be nice to him when he arrives. Okay. Don't be rude. It's not allowed. Not fucking allowed. Nice to him. No, he's not allowed in my home. No, there's no tattoo removal of any sort. Jag off. Hey, Tom. The moving company wants to know what time Tony will be by on May 19th to let them in. Was it 6 a.m.? Get the fuck off of my goddamn computer! You son of a bitch! Not fucking alone! I'm not going anywhere! Go Tom, fuck your- I heard a rumor. The blasters are making me fucking sick! God damn it! Fuck you! Son of a bitch! Not fucking alone! Jim, I think we said uh, 5.30 a.m. for setup. It would be appropriate, 5.30 a.m. for setup. I think that would be the right time. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, you got five minutes what? left of those glasses, Perry. Get them back on. I am dizzy as shit with that shit on my eyes. Okay, it's five minutes left, Perry. You get paid to do it, so five minutes left. I don't give a fuck. These things okay, are okay, fucking... Okay, okay, garbage mouth. Just put it. Just put them on. They're making me sick. They're going... I'm not wearing them anymore. I didn't ask you to wear them anymore. You just got five minutes left. Ugh. The box for these stupid glasses go down... Okay, you're making me dizzy with all your bopping. So just sit still. You don't need the box right now. I don't need the box. Oh, there it is. Okay, you don't thing. need the box. Throw the box away. Why would you keep the box? Uh, to put them back in the box. You don't need the. They don't need to go back in the box. I want them back in the box. Thank you for subscribing, whoever you are. <sighs> Perry, which did act you enjoy more? Chopping Cricket to pieces with a hatchet or strangling Mike Majestic to death and banging his wife? Hashtag oh, Perry did. sick? I don't know you, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Mind your own business about my past. That was many, many years ago, okay? She's got a family now. Leave us alone. Got a husband and two kids, okay? Nice guy, nice children, okay? Leave us alone. <sighs> Thank you for subscribing. Oh, damn. These stupid glasses are making me dizzy as shit. You get t literally two minutes left, and then you can take them off. Ugh. Hey, idiot. With today's technology, you can have your arm removed, taken to a tattoo shop, have it covered and replaced within 24 oh, shut hours. shut up! Tattoo must go.
I'm not removing my arm. I'm not removing tattoo, okay? <clears throat> Since I'm not able to go to the Long Beach Grand Prix Sunday, I'm going to be in the mountains this weekend. <clears throat> Oops, I said where I'm going. Okay. Mm. Ow. Oh, fuck, that hurts. All right, you can take the glasses off. Time's up. Put your regular glasses on. Thank you. Mm. As slow as possible, please. Right, just put them aside. Just just put them aside. Uh, there we go. Excuse me, let me get some excitement. Wait, where are you darting off to now? Time, 10, 15. Correct. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, um... Hey, Perry, what's going on? You know you're doing a stream, right? Oh, shit! God damn it! Mm. Are you God, ready to pay attention stop. now? I'm trying to clear. Thank you. Um, I'll deal with those two later. <sighs> okay. Harold only wants to date famous women because then he can leak into them and get slimy and gropey. <clears throat> WI forward slash them. Uh, period. Now, if he dated a woman his age, he would have to accept he's 60 and never going in the snow. Uh, that's all I got to say to that. Okay. Idiots. Put this in the box with the. This is something glasses. you can do later, Perry. Please put it down. Here's advice for just overall. Anything that, like, is not actually doing the stream is things that Perry can do later. Um, yeah, then... Well, well... I just want you to do your stream. So don't focus on minutia, like fast food napkins or putting something away or doing dishes, that kind of stuff. I'm sitting here. 
On this episode of Jim Live, today's guest host, Jerry will be opening some mailbag items. Jim Live, I don't see Jim doing anything because this is not Jim's home. It's my home. It's Perry Caravella Live, not Jim Live. Jim is a slime bag. Ugh. Hello. Okay, so you got me frozen. Again. Okay, Perry, again. Okay, okay, put the box down. I knew you were going to go for that. Put the box down. Put the box the down. Box. box goes down. Okay, the box, just Hello. leave it alone, okay? God, you just can't help yourself. Yeah, now the box doesn't need to be touched. Right, but you've reached for it like three times now, and I've told you to stop. Put the glasses away, one. Okay, you again, things that Perry can do later. And put the wipes in there, too. Things oh. Perry can do later. Cheers. Thank you, Godzoo. Thank you. Cheers, Perry. <clears throat> I don't know about that little quack in there. Anyway, I gotta get my, my freaking. I, I need to feel better. This sucks. Okay, this chunk squad writes by accepting this ten bucks. You agreed to allow Chunk 10 minutes of using your shower. Thank you, Perry, and good day. Chunk is not here, one. Chunk is never allowed here, two. Chunk will never get in my apartment, three. And never is allowed in my shower, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Got it? Not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. You're not a woman. You're not one of my girlfriends from the... Present or past, so you're not allowed in my home. Thank you. Kuya Rich writes, I want to introduce myself as your new co-host. Oh, Christ. Never. Jim hired me because Tom said you've been slacking lately on the stream. I'll also be moving in on 626. And Bob Levy said I can sleep on his race car bed. No more beds are allowed in my home. One bed is here. One bed stays. One bed will leave when I move. If, if, if I ever move. No, no, no stupid race car bed for a little child is allowed in my house. God damn it. Ow, my neck is killing me. Oh, this sucks. Ugh. <sighs> Perry's version of being respectful means don't say mean things to him. Thank you. That's about time. And only say things he likes and wants to hear. He just wants to be surrounded by beautiful women, not yes men. Still gonna be in the, still going to gonna be in the snow. Yes. Thank you for the kind words about going to the snow, because I will probably show up there in this weekend. Either Saturday and Sunday, or either Saturday or Sunday. We'll see what happens. If I have uh, less neck pain than I have right now, okay, you're not going any. You're not going anywhere in the snow, Perry. That's not happening. <sighs> I'm not going to Long Beach since I've been banned. Pricks, banned. I don't know why I'm banned. Where did you hear I that? Blew up bozos. I'm now banned from going to the Long Beach Grand Prix. Oh, what a I don't bullshit. know anything about that, Perry. Fuck you, Perry. Remove the tattoo. I said so. That ain't gonna fucking happen, loser. 
arm does not get touched. And nobody's allowed in my home at this moment in time. Perry, you need to apologize for calling all of son of a fucks on weather matters. We did nothing wrong. I don't know what you're, I don't say son of a fuck. That's what Tom says. Tom yells. When have I ever said the word son of an F? I've never, that's never come out of my mouth. You said it on yes, Wednesday. Yes. You said it on Wednesday. If I said uh, maybe son of a fucking bitch, maybe not. I'm not son of a, I say son of a bitch. I don't say son of a F on weather matters. We did nothing wrong. It's not abuse. Also, uh, gay Ted looks FWD forward to your move. I am not moving out of my apartment building. No way in the hell. And if you keep pushing it, I'm going to stay longer. Before I move to a gated community in SoCal. Because that's where I move. Gated community. Nowhere else. Because this living in the streets crap is bullshit. Either a gated community in Calabasas, gated community in Porter Ranch, gated community in Tarzana. How many gay Ted's? Do you, how many gay Ted communities do you know? Gated, gated, not gay Ted's. No, gated. All right. Uh, listen, I got a message here that's going to cheer you up. It's from our good friend Bob Levy. By the way, uh, the next Perry and Bob stream. Everybody's been wondering about that. When is Perry going to be on with Bob again? It's going to be this Wednesday. The 24th. Why? What? Wednesday is Weather Matters, not Bob Levy. Uh, no, uh, Wednesday is a rotating categories stream, and uh, you already did Weather Matters this last Wednesday. Wednesday uh, Weather Matters is oh, once a sorry. month. So is you and Bob. Anyway, pay attention, Perry. It's this Wednesday, the 24th, at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. East Time. Don't miss it. Uh, but anyway, Bob here... If you could sit up, Perry. Bob here sends a nice message. Uh, forgive me, I can't do a Bob Levy impression, but he says, Perry, it's me, Bob Levy. I booked this on a two-week cruise for the day you come back from filming your Manly Cowboy movie. And uh, there's a picture here, Perry. It looks really beautiful for the two of you, okay? It has all-you-can-eat fish fillets and all male passengers like you requested. Bye. See you Not soon, going. pretty boy. Never going. Men eating Never fish fillets and men holding hands. P.S. Sorry. P.S. Throw out your crappy bed tonight, and the race car bed will be there on Tuesday, the day before we do our show. So that's going to be great. That ain't going to happen. Never in a quazillion, babillion, mabillion. Zazillion years. Doesn't that look like a nice boat, Perry? Look at that. Look at that boat. It looks like a stupid model, okay? It doesn't even look like a real boat. No, it, it, it's a real boat. It's a real boat. It's a real tugboat. Yeah, look at, what, look at what's all around you. Bring that picture up. Okay, I'll, so I can read the sign deep in the background. Yeah, Peabody? Yeah. Long Beach? Yeah. Is that Long Beach? No, I don't know where this is, but uh, I don't know where the cruise departs out of, but obviously it's gotten, it's very popular. There's a lot of people lined up ready to go. I will never go on a freaking McDonald's boat. Well, Bob, book you a ticket, Perry. It'd be rude to say no at this point. I'm not going. I go where I want to go, and I'm not going on a stupid cruise ship with a bunch of, I'm not saying the words. Because if I do, I'll get in trouble. Me, Perry, me, poo-poo on toilet, me, 
harass women in my apartment complex. Randy on me. No, ran, no, Randy from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Come over and right now and sit down and sit next to me and host this. No, Randy from Phoenix, Arizona is not in California and. Uh, I haven't seen her in years, and I probably won't be seeing her anymore because I don't talk to her anymore. Randy or Tammy from Arizona, so I don't talk to those girls anymore. Those hot poops steamed up the bathroom cam this morning. Could you kindly wet a napkin with pickle juice and clean the lenses? No, pickle juice is not allowed here ever again. Geek and the the last pair of eyes that I had on was making me dizzy. Okay, imbecile. These glasses are the the only glasses that I could see on my computer monitor that make me. And this imbecile says, "Please send me Dave's hot chicken to help evacuate my stomach." Of what's causing my my issues? Uh, no, it's going to give me more stomach issues. So Dave's Hot Chicken is not allowed, nor is Sprite allowed. The lie of the, the this thing says the true stomach settle. It's not a stomach settler in my stomach. Jag off. Not allowed in my home. Dave's Hot Chicken, not allowed in my home. Sprite, not allowed in my home. If I see it outside that fucking door, it goes in the dark garbage outside. Not allowed in my home. Imbecile. Do not. N-O-T, the word not. Send me any of that garbage. Oh, Christ. Give me a freaking headache and it sucks. <sighs> Eyes are killing me. Stupid glasses really fucked me this morning. Thanks, Yergi, you prick. Mm. So goddamn dizzy from those dumbass glasses. Oh. Oh. I'm Perry, and since I'm wearing the Steelathon shirt, that means 100% endorsement. 626 Steelathon. I'm not. Wait, I'm, uh, I particularly I don't need a piece of shirt. Go fuck yourself. My mom's dresser is my dresser now. It's not a piece of shit. A beautiful piece of furniture. It's an old piece of furniture. It's been around since 19, 19 I think, 48. It was, it was uh, built and, you know, my parents got for uh, them when they first got married. 47, 48-ish. Mom was born in 26, and then they, yeah. Twenty six, right? Twenty six, forty six, forty eight, something like that. Hey Perry, it's Corey Feldman again. Mine picking me up at LAX around three thirty. I'm finally able to come get the credenza. No, you're not. Would you mind if I brought? My angel's with me for a pool party. I love you, my mustard lips. Uh, no, I'm not picking you up at 3.30 at LAX. No, thank you. And you're not touching my dresser. It holds my clothes. Don't worry about it. <sighs> we never talked about anything before this stupid thing happy so no. bear bag friday scare master
tell the 92 story as if John D was you and you were RC. Please practice safe toilet usage today and don't be any gear. Go away, I'm not saying anything about 1992 again. Other than going to uh, Mammoth Mountain snow, uh, snow skiing. That was a fun summer. Went up there in May, went up there in, on the July 4th weekend, and it was beautiful. Snow was like six to eight feet deep in May, as well as July 4th weekend. Awesome, awesome time. <sighs> the RBT has screened your recent dumps and has detected you have been using mustard and lube to an extreme degree this week. Assface, you are sickening. Whatever. Yeah, mustard is not. I got an allergy to that crap. It's garbage. This is in my stomach. That as well as the other crap that was part of the. Uh, maybe that was part of the uh, hot dog. Whatever was in the hot dog gave me what what I woke up to this morning. I mean, I didn't feel like that last night, but this morning turned into what happened to me. It's like six poops or eight poops. I don't know. I just poop, 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 poop every few minutes. It was crazy. Oh, so then I had a bowl of rice, white rice, to bind the stomach and the esophagus. Oh. Mm. Perry, it saves hot chicken. We heard you weren't feeling well. We want to help and send you our hottest chicken sandwich ever. Jim said you love spice. Uh, I don't give a flying fuck what Jim says. The spices ruin my system, and I'm not eating any of your dumb, degrading uh, stomach killing spices. No, 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 no. Hot Dave's chicken is not allowed in my house ever again. Ever again. Hollywood millionaire Wesmo's cause of death revealed a strangulation. No sign of a neck goiter as suggested by Perry's defense counsel Mr. Dizak. What? No, I don't deal with Dizak ever again. Stupid people. He's not my idiotic attorney counsel. Never use that moron again. Ugh. And feeding him for six months. Ugh. Ouch. Know what? Roadside Gray, the gang, Second World, Eastern Block. What, what do you mean, Northside Gray, the gang? I, I, I don't know what any of this stupid thing means. Northside, Northside of what? Gray, the gang. Who? Who? What? What does that mean? Second World, Eastern Block. I. You're making zero sense. Al Gore or all Gore? Al L Gore, whatever that all means. I, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're going to put something else up there? 
Makes zero sense. Yeah, Perry, can you ever fill time? You, you know, I, by the way, just, just so you know, Perry, I have to multitask a lot on Fridays because I actually have a real job. So can you ever, like, fill time by yourself? When I don't have a fucking health issue, I'll fill the time. I have a stomach issue today. Okay, we all, we all, my... we all have our issues, Perry. We all have our issues. My, my, my freaking body is driving me nuts, and I don't like it. And enough rice for breakfast, and that's all I'm gonna have. Okay. All right. Calm yourself. Right, can you just... sit up, please, with, instead of with the dramatics? I'll come down. I'm gonna lay down. Don't leave me alone. This is your job. My job sucks right now because I don't know how to do it. Uh, that's somebody. I think this somebody sent a, a YouTube link. A, that's number one. That's not how you submit media share. Number two, uh, media share is done on Mondays and it has a specific thing to it. So, um, get back to us on Monday. Uh, whoever sent that clip in, sorry. I can't call it sick. Thanks. Another stupid remark. It's not stupid. It's just I think that's somebody who doesn't know how to do uh, media share. So, again, uh, get okay, back to media share. What? This is, today is not media share. No, day. it's not. And I just think someone's trying to post in the link, thinking that the link's going to play, and it doesn't work that way. So, get in touch with us, and we'll sort it out for Monday. Thank you. I think your stomach issues are from the Kina caused by your dorky fans. You know we just love you and want to take care of you, doctor, pointing finger, hole, smiling face with hearts, doctor, pointing finger, hole, smiling face with hearts. Not interested in this type of doctor. <laughs> Not interested in that type of doctor, loser. Nobody's sticking their finger up my ass. Not allowed. Not, this is not a, uh... Hey, Perry, if we can't make the race, then let's set up a Jim as my boss tramp stamp tattoo appointment. Jim has a pre- No! 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 N-O! Never gonna happen! No such thing will ever happen. I will be in the snow. No tattoo removal is allowed. God damn it. Ugh. Danica got mad at me. Okay. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, I mean, I blew up on the last stream. I forgot what I was yelling and bitching about, but I lost my mind a couple days ago, and, and I'm very sorry for losing my mind a couple days ago. And if Danica's watching this, again, dear, I'm very sorry for going AWOL. That happens on occasion, okay? It's not a daily thing, or is it an hourly thing, or a minute thing. It happens on occasion. I haven't gone that nuts in a while. Uh, I actually hate losing my mind like that, but uh, I feel bad that you're you, that you got all PO'd at me for for losing my mind because I kind of miss you. You know, it's been a long, 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 long time since we've seen each other. Um. Oh my God. So I mean, it would be nice to see you again, but if you don't want to see me, forget about it. Anyway. Uh, by the way, Perry, I have an offer here from a James Blah Blah. It involves your um, Harvey Flickman compatible comedy workshop. You have that? What about Harvey Flickman? You have that? Is it a book? Uh, he was my acting coach. Okay, but you have the Harvey Flickman compatible comedy workshop? Yeah. Okay, so this is for $15 from James Blah Blah to take the Harvey Flickman Compatible Comedy Workshop 
and put it in your dishwasher for the remainder of the stream. You don't need to run the dishwasher. You just got to put it there for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Looks like that's an easy peasy offer accepted. You don't need to run, you don't turn it on or anything like that. You just got to put it in there. Hello. Well, I said that. RV Flickman, comedy work. Comedy. Oh, okay. It's not a guy. Yeah, okay. It's not a, a student. I didn't realize it was the actual comedy store uh, diploma. Very good. Turning on the dishwasher with that in there is not to happen. I got to take another dump. <laughs> All right, I saw that coming. All right. Uh, the last time was pretty uh, quick, so let's, um, let's do that. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me get uh, Rap and Randy going here since I couldn't do it last time. Sorry, guys. Randy Callahan, and I'm here to say they resect me off in a major way. His penis got hard, so you know he's gay. Got his psyched out just then he ran away. Alone in my office, chilling and such. In came Perry in a major rush. Pulled off my trousers and he went to town. He went down, down, down. Happened in my office, 1992. Checked out my pants, Perry started the Jew. Licked off his lips when you knew he was through. That's how it happened, you know that it's true. Happened in my office, 1992. Took down my pants, Perry started the Jew. Licked off his lips when you knew he was through. That's how it happened, you know that it's true. Happened in my office, the curtain was drawn. Perry danced around in a tiny form. How could his mad love be so wrong? That's why I'm singing you this little song. I love sucking Randy's cock. I love, I love, I love, I love sucking Randy's cock. I love sucking Randy's cock. I love, I love, I love, I love sucking Randy's cock. Uh, I love sucking Randy's. I love sucking Randy's cock. Harry swallowed my milk chick that day. Something wicked. I'm headed to Fartstown. I just got my ticket. See your best days at the big show. And your best not run for me, don't you know? Cause I got big plans for our next hand. With milkshake drinking every time. So pull down your pants, get ready to go. This RC's putting on a laser show. I'll take you out and rub your world. Better than you got from any girl. So when will you finally admit this fact? The RC's the best and then never be whack. Not whack, 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 Stupid. 
Sorry about the pooping. I think we're done for a bit. I hope so. No, I was calling you because I ordered you a uh, antioxidant uh, coffee drink that's gonna come on the way, so it should help your stomach. Uh, uh, from where? Starbucks? No, it's from a place called. Um, I forget the place now. Anyway, it was like a, a drink shop. Okay. I'll tell you what, why don't we get to another mailbag? Okay, thank you. This is huge. Door thermometer. Are you serious? Hold on, let's see if there's a note in here. If you don't uh, display this somewhere, prompt 
uh, prominent. I will keep sending larger thermometers from Badger Bill. Then I'll throw them away, Badger Bill, because I don't need a humongous thermometer other than one. Got it? One is all I need. Oh, this looks like a winner. Um, why don't you replace the one that you have hanging up there with this one, because we can all see it now. Just make sure there's a battery in it. Just says thermometer. There's does it no need? A, does it take a battery? Oh. No. Doesn't say anything about a battery. Just check the back panel, just in case. Nope, not at all. Okay, look, can we see? Can we, can we? Before you dart over? No, not the back, Perry. The the front. Yeah, that may that, that that's about right. Almost eighty degrees. Yeah, can you replace the other one with this one, and then we'll find another place for the other one. Perfect. I put the other one like just next to the microwave for now, so we don't lose track of that one. Yeah, we can almost everybody can see that now. That's great. All right. What are you doing? Why do you need to worry about how hot or how cold it is in my house, my apartment? Well, especially for weather matters streams, uh, it's good to give the indoor and outdoor temperatures. Oh, speak, can you sit down for Christ's sake? <sighs> yeah. I actually, I, I had an idea for weather matters. Let me know what you think of this. Go ahead. I was thinking, I'm getting tired of that same old suit. And I was thinking we got to get you dedicated like uh, like news reporter jackets, you know, like a big sports coat, you know, like uh, you know. So I got to go to a suit. So I got to go to um, like Hollywood suits. No, 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 no. I'll I'll find I'll find some for you. Uh, you're a forty six regular, right? Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking of getting like like a yellow one or like lime green, powder blue, like that Why? kind of thing. Because Those it's are gay more colors. Because Those it's are gay colors. I won't wear them. They're not gay colors, dingbat. Powder green. Yeah, they're what weather. Gay boy, blue, gay boy pink and shit. No, yeah, I didn't say I'm pink. I didn't say pink. I, hey, can I, you, I can know you put this? Do, hey Perry, in, while I'm in the middle of talking, can you like not do a mailbag? Can you just put that aside for a second? Yeah. Anyway, over here, over here. No mailbag. Put it down. Put it down. Pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. For, for one second. Put whatever you're touching, put it down. Yes. So, like, you know, solid color suits, and then we have a badge on it. Like, uh, we'll get um, a thing made. Get the cursor out of this, out off my face. Thank you. It's not on your face. Was. Um, anyway, and then we'll get, like, a patch where it says, like, you know, PCL News... You know, Perry Caravel, you know, whatever, wet, like a Weather Matters patch or something like that, like okay. a logo. And I think that could be the official, like, blazer suit of jacket. Weather Matters. And you can have, like, right. maybe two or three of them in rotation. Because I'm just getting sick of that same suit every every time you do Weather Matters. Well, I'm not always wearing the same suit. I, I, I know, but your, your suit rotation, it, it, it's... it's they're black, they're black, and they're... Yeah, striped. I just want it to pop a little bit, you know, like a, like, an, a, like, a, like a weather guy from the 70s or 80s. You know, you love the 70s and 80s, so like that that kind of thing is what I was thinking of. Anyway, like, and then we'll make a badge for it, like a patch that can be ironed on. That's, you know, the official PCL news. And then even if you go out to a red carpet or something like that, you're going to interview people, you could still wear it. It'll say PCL News on it, you know? You know, like the Howard 100 News, they had, you know, their thing for a while, something like that. Anyway, that was just an idea. But uh, okay. I'm going to be on the lookout in uh, vintage places for uh, jackets for you. Okay. okay. You can get to that mailbag now. 100% snowboarding. Yay! Training log and diary. 
Read the note. <laughs> Where is that? Was it that right over there? This is not a note, and there was no note in here, was there? Yeah. Hold on. Because of th yes, there is. There it is. Perry, brother. Don't let that, blith that blithering son of a bitch, Tom B., keep you out of the snow. Use this book. Keep a log of the exercises you do every day to get your balance back. Every stream, show them the work you do uh, from Big Bear Mountain. Thank you guys from Big Bear. Thank you so much. And this is, I guess, a snowboarding training log. I'll keep this little lovable comment because that's very polite and very respectful. And it means a lot to talk to me with respect and politeness and love. Okay, so snowboarding training and log and diary. So it's like a date and goal book. So it has stuff like that, okay? So date, week, hour trained, coach, time, goals, warm-up grill, drills, tech one, tech two. Yeah, it's all the way, okay, it's all the same stuff. So it's a basically a log book. So yeah, okay. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys, up there in Big Bear. Really appreciate it. Very respectful, very, very respectful, and thank you. Another one. What this is. Rip it open. Okay. The shirt says hooray. I'm scared to see what it's going to say after it says hooray. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. You guys are all going to laugh at me on this one. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting this shirt on right now. Oh, God, that's hilarious. I'm just going to put it on over this one that I got on. Because it's that, it's that big. Hooray, I pooped today. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a, it says XL. It looks like it's a triple XL. It's 80 degrees in there. You're going to put just double layer? Why don't you just take the other one off? Huh. Let me go. That's too much effort. Exactly. Hooray, I pooped today. That is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You know what I love about you is this is the kind of shirt you would wear out. Like, this is not just for the stream. Like, you'll wear this out. No, no, no. Wrong. I won't wear this shirt out. This is just a stream shirt. This is not a shirt to wear to, to like, Fridays or, or to <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Or, I'm not saying or, out to dinner, but out and about running errands, you would wear this shirt. If, I, if I'm going skateboarding, I would wear this as a joke to everybody. But I mean, or going to the beach or, or to the mountains or anything? No, 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 no. I would. This is only a stream shirt. It's not a shirt to wear out. 
Northside, Gray the Gang, Second World, Eastern Block. The LOC. Well, well, I don't know what that means. It makes no sense. I live in the center of the valley, not in the north end of the valley. So I moved to Porter Ranch. If I moved to Porter Ranch. Psychic Sylvia Brown. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. Sometimes our hobbies can become addictions. I can cure you of your shitting addiction through the power of hypnosis. Oh, yeah, sure you can. You can't cure somebody's pooping by hypnosis. Pooping is a digestive matter. Hypnosis does not cure pooping. <clears throat> you can remove that, please. Thank you. Oh, thanks for telling me. Ugh. Let's see how if we're full or not, because it was almost full this morning, and it's still not full yet. It's almost there. It's at 86. We'll say at 100. It should have been 100. <sighs> okay. So... Um, I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words right now because of my stomach treating me like this. Uh, it, it just drains you. All right, Perry, okay. my, uh, looks like my drink, my drink delivery got there. So if you can just grab that and bring it in, please. Is it outside my door? It sure is. I'm going to give an extra tip because, uh... That was really nice. Okay. Just bring it in, Perry. Nah, it's just uh, it's just an espresso. I got an espresso before Wednesday. He was like, had great energy. So that's, that's my new secret uh, formula right now. I'm going to go with it. I didn't do it earlier because he was, you know, pooping up a storm. Down the hatch, do the whole thing. Yeah. Wait, Ugh. open it up. Let me see that it's all done. Ugh. Nothing that's good for you tastes good. Ugh. Open the open up the lid. I want to see that it's empty. Open up the lid. Take the lid off. The top off. Ugh. Hey, you're an Italian. You should love that. There's a little bit left. Just, I just, hate this taste of this shit. Just I have that little it. bit that's left. Ugh. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. I'm Italian, I should love it. No, wrong. Just because I'm Italian does not mean that I love everything that's Italian. I mean, my stomach has problems, okay? Well, this will help it. No, it's not helping it. It's gonna probably... There's no dairy. Hey, by the way, I got it with almond milk. Not There's no dairy in it whatsoever. Thank you. And a little stevia. I was actually looking into an espresso machine. Uh, the other day, you know, I was like, oh, it'd be easier if Perry had one or whatever. And it was, <laughs> uh -uh, no. they were like, well, don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's off the expensive. table. They're, the good ones are like over a thousand dollars. So That's right. They're too expensive. Ones that work don't break down after like two or three pots of coffee. <clears throat> oh, Christ, I got to wash these. Hold on. All right, I got an offer here from our good friend Frank in New Orleans. Ten dollars if Perry would cut nipple holes in the shirt. Uh, Never going to fucking happen. You organically 
obnoxious psychopath. No, I'm not gonna cut nipple holes in any of my clothing, jerk. What about this one you just got, this joke shirt? No, not allowed. Not allowed. I'll let Frank know immediately. Shirt. That'll never happen again. Okay. Stupid assholes. Any other clothing ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'll turn the computer off. That's the case. That's all morons want to do is make me look like a freaking blithering imbecile. Forget about it. No, oh, but it's funny. Funny for who? Funny for you? Is that your impression of the average PCL viewer? What? When you say, oh, that's funny. Like, who are you impersonating there? I'm not impersonating anybody. Just generic. Just generic, yes. Generic anybody because everybody loves this. Otherwise, we wouldn't have without people watching it all the time. Fair enough. 1,000 turning into 75,000, 100,000. I don't know. That's only a thousand here in Reseda. <clears throat> Well, uh, the Good Ship YouTube right now is about 800 people watching with only 306 likes, so not the greatest like to view ratio. But sucks. take a wild guess how many people are watching on Twitch right now. Half that? Eh, I wish, that'd be nice. Okay, a third 130. of that. 130. A third, not even a third of that. Yeah, on, on Twitch, so. Well, that's only Twitch. Yes, I know. Thank, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See, Twitch YouTube, used to do this thing. Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, Zoom. All right. All right. When you're done, let me know. Um, Odyssey. Let's go back to the 50s. Uh, Chevy Eldorado. So here's the thing with uh, Twitch. And this is really why, it's not just me saying this, this is a lot of other content creators have this problem too. When we first started on Twitch, when you, know, when you first started on Twitch, when Perry Curveball Live start, first started on Twitch, okay. it was great because the Twitch algorithm pushed you, PCL, out to everybody. Like when you logged on to Twitch, you could see who's on. And remember back in the early days uh, of PCL where people would come into the chat and be like, oh my God, what is this? Like, oh, what, what's this guy doing? Who, where's this voice guy coming from? And it would be kind of cute and funny to see a random person on Twitch like stumbling into the stream. Uh, that hasn't happened in a long time because Twitch doesn't push streams like this anymore. You have to be in the hundreds of thousands of viewers for them to push you in their algorithm. Whereas on YouTube, it is possible, although it's not it's not super easy. It is possible for like regular people to discover you, whereas on Twitch it's almost impossible at this point uh, to get new people uh, to watch you because they don't. Uh, they made a change about I don't know. Maybe it was like two years ago. Maybe it was a year and a half ago. I don't know exactly when it was, but they made an update where, and a lot of people complain about this Twitch meeting. Um, is that they just don't push the little guys out uh, to new viewers anymore, which well, that's uh, which stinks, cool. you know. And you have uh, on Twitch, there's like you know thirteen thousand followers, which is not bad, you know, uh, on on Twitch. But it's still, you know, you got to be in the hundreds of thousands of viewers to get uh, them their algorithm to push the streams out. Like, hey, here's what's on Twitch. If you're just logging into Twitch cold and you're just looking for something to watch. You're not going to find a stream that has, you know, anything under 20, you know, maybe, maybe in like a lot of that, like maybe 50,000, you could probably get it to do that. But anyway, it, it stinks. And uh, maybe they'll change that. Maybe they'll go back to the way it was. No, oh, shit. I just dropped something. Uh, maybe it'll go back to the way it was, but uh, that's just, that's just where it is right now. And I think a lot of Twitch people migrated over to, uh, to YouTube, so... That's why Twitch is dying. It's not. Uh, it's not anything we're doing uh, maliciously. It's just that's just the way it was. 
Maybe we'll go back on Twitch-O. Not fun. Not fun. Twitch-O doesn't... Only had, like, what, three people on there? I think Twitch-O had more uh, people than... Uh, than Twitch does, so it's just it's oh, things that, yeah, I can I can no longer say with a straight face that PCL is a predominantly a Twitch stream, which it was for a long time. It's not, it's just not. It's predominantly a YouTube stream. That's the way it is. Predominantly, yes. Anyway, it's enough. Okay. Uh, it's enough Twitch reads. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to read this disgusting remark. But this whack job by the name of, or what he calls himself, C.J. Halliday, I love when you talk dirty and brag about your ex-lover, Randy. What, my, my, my old high school girlfriend that now lives out in Arizona? That girl? It gets all of your followers hard as, as rock. My baby boo boo pear bear, you gay little rock star. Oh, well, my girlfriend Randy from the Palm Springs High School was a sweet kid. And I haven't seen her or talked to her since the mid 80s before I left Palm Springs. And I knew that she moved when she, when I left Palm Springs, she actually moved to Arizona before me. So. I haven't spoken to her since. <sighs> your attempts to cover up butt stuff with Gerald with your one night fling with Randy aren't going to work anymore, bucko. I don't know who this moron is, but I don't have a friend named Gerald One, and I don't talk to my old girlfriend from high school named Randy too. Okay, so good day, loser. Uh. It's getting hot in here. Can I open up the door, please? Yeah, I, I can see. It's almost. It, it's it's funny how that thermometer has gone up since you took it out of the package. Yeah, it's it's kind of warm in here. And I'm going to push it back in. Right there. Okay. There. Thank you. Uh, I just want to respond to somebody in the chat real quick. Uh, King Concerto said Twitch banned my channel with not even a hundred subs when they briefly cracked down on gambling channels. They relaxed on gambling streams and have ignored my email. Uh, I don't know when that was, but I'll say just from personal experience, uh, one good thing about Twitch is they've gotten a lot better about appeals. Um, so if you go through the proper appeal channel, and if you've done it already, just do it again. Um, they have a much quicker turnaround now, so I would say do that again. But yeah, that stinks. Uh, if you want to do gambling streams, a uh, place to do that is Kick. Okay. I'm not a gambler. Put that back up, please. I just want to touch on that for a second. Have you ever gambled, ever? I'm not a gambler. I, I, gambling, no, I'm not interested. I'll lose. Really? Usually every time I pick a team to win, I don't win. Well, maybe, we can get, maybe we can get in some gambling stuff uh, on kick one day. That'd be kind of fun. For what? I don't so know. I lose money? Not, nothing, nothing that would hurt. 
nothing that would like be painful you know you, you don't you don't want to gamble and you don't gamble everything you have you know you're, you're not you don't have a gambling problem i'm just saying it could be fun to bet things here and there i, I played slot machines a couple times when i was in vegas <laughs> maybe you could pick stocks for people that's kind of like gambling. that's legal gambling stocks i don't know how to do that either all right well let me uh, give you an example so tes tesla uh, had a bad week this week uh right now they're currently trading at uh 148 which is abysmal uh for them you think tesla is a buy or sell right now i would get i would get rid if i had a tesla i would get rid of it no i'm not talking about the car i'm talking about the stock so i don't know anything about tesla i would the only car i'll own is a toyota and if you want to talk stocks i would only only buy into toyota okay uh, stock what about netflix they have a big uh uh, presentation next week. A lot of people. That's a are, TV thing. I don't know. I'm talking about, about the stock, Netflix. though. I'm talking about the stock. Would you buy or sell that? I have no idea. Netflix is probably well. Um. I don't. I again. I don't know about TV channels. What's the best uh, or TV cable for that matter? Uh, as as tape as cable companies go, I would only go with uh, Spectrum cable. Time Warner Spectrum. Hmm. I don't know what they're traded as anyway. Because I I would say that they're the 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 highest rated uh, uh, cable company out there. All right. Uh, new rule: don't take stock advice from Perry. But we can do gambling. See? But we can do gambling stuff. I'm not interested in gambling. I said. I know, but we can do it as if it's, it could be fun once in a while. I'm not saying right now. Yeah, saying... No advice from me, buddy. <laughs> Just saying down the line. All right. Sorry. Oh, boy. S-C-E-R-Y. That's not how I spell my name. Dumb doofus. Okay, Scary Perry. It's Daniel Curlin, also known as Bobo. Bobo Sum Evan. Call me Tony... Bolat, Bolando, my dog, my Malunagin is a, this is stupid, schnoodle, now, now it's in, 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 in brackets, schnauzer poodle mix, closing the bracket, you murdered him. I'm not loyal. I murdered who? I'm not a murderer. Stupid ass. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Anyway. <clears throat> what that pill? Anti-diarrhea tablets. Okay. Well, how do you do? From Amazon. Ugh. Last company I'll buy tablets from. Let's <sighs> say in the back. Drink plenty of clear fluids to help. Prevent diarrhea or dehydration caused by diarrhea. There we go. And you drink a lot of water. Two capsules after the first loose stool. Oh, I should have been taking this stuff. Okay, the next time I have to go to the toilet, I'll... I'll, I'll pop some of these. So. Okay. To Don Bar. Riss. R R I S. To Don. Don. To Don. And who's at the door? 
And just, anyone just associated first. with you, I love the gay community. That's why you want nothing to do with me. Anyway. All right. It's a very nice Thanks. lady, so be respectful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I'm getting stuff from this company. Cleaning raw fish. I haven't even opened the bag, and I know it's raw fish. I kind of figured since they're green bag. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can I just see it before you put, put, toss it aside? There's an ebb and flow with fish on this stream. You know, they, they come and go. I'm not going to do this anymore. It smells like crazy, too. Ugh. Didn't ask you to do anything. Ugh. Let's see it. Ugh. What kind of fish is that? Oh, God. This says Silver Pompano Wild Mexico. Holy shit. Hmm. Ugh. Out of Mexico. You know, one of these cooking with Perry's, you should actually cook a, a, a raw fish that was delivered and prepared. No, 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 never, 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 never. It's just an idea. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I want to get this out of my house because it stinks so freaking bad. Okay, not now, though. We're doing the stream. Yes, now! Right the fuck now! It, 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 That's how bad it smells. No, you can move it away, Perry, but don't leave the apartment, okay? We, we, you, you had enough darting... For, for, I, you know, just when I think we've had a stream that has, like, the most darting ever, he uh, managed to go past that. All right, let's go. Back. Let's go. Oh. I wouldn't go to Ohio if I was you, Perry. They lead the nation in tornadoes. Tattoo removal is not allowed to happen, loser. Places in gay cowboy films. Uh, you may be getting set up. I'm that's what I'm afraid of. That's why I'm not going. I'm not going. Sick. Instead of removing the tattoo, let's get your whole body covered in. SPF 100 except for the tattoo and go to a tanning salon. The tattoo will fade away and you'll end up with a very tan bicep. I'm not going to get the fuck out of off of my screen, you fucking disgusting, degrading homosexual. God, you're sick. Ugh. Get that off my screen right the fuck now. Oh, you're disgusting. I'm taking two. I'm taking two. Already done off pooping. So let's have two. I don't want to poop anymore today, but I'll probably be pooping again.
That's one. And here's the second one. Two. Mm. Liquid Shrimp writes, you are a known thief and liar. That right there is a lie. You claim to be a snowboarder. No, I claim that I have gone snowboarding twice. I am a snow skier. I will be learning to snowboard, yet have never been in the snow. That is a complete lie. You claim to be straight, yet I never blew a man. Whack job. No, this Randy scumbag in 1992 blew me. You sick, disgusting pervert. Can you read it as it's written, please, and stop doing death stuff? I opened my pills. I took my pills. Um, th th there's the desk stuff. <clears throat> you are a known thief and liar. You claim to be a snowboarder, which I will be snowboarding, if not this season, next. Got it? Thank you. Over and out. Yet, I've never been in the snow. This year, I haven't been in the snow, but twice. Claim to be straight yet, blew a man, uh, Randy, and I didn't. I never blew a man, whack off. Fucking go away. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Hold on. Oh, don't use that. That's banned. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was your chapstick. What do you... <laughs> hmm. Wake the fuck up. That's what it says. <laughs> it says, wake the fuck up. I went to Outback Steakhouse in Burbank yesterday and like Scaremaster I didn't leave a tip it's trash. What did you order? I don't go to Burbank to Outback. I go to Northridge to Outback. And again, what did you order? Because there's nothing wrong with Outback. At least the Outback that I go to. If you think it's trash it's because of what you ordered at the restaurant. Jim, thank you for contacting us regarding Perry's bowel problems. We've scheduled 6 a.m. on June 25th for his colostomy back install and tattoo removal. T A. Wrong, Jax. wrong, 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 wrong. Liar, 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 liar. I am on 626 leaving my home and not going back to my home until I am ready. My home will be locked. No one's allowed in my home on 626. I will have spies keeping an eye on my apartment on 626. Oh, God, you fucking people, assholes. Hey, my little piggy. I'm bringing a dress and saddle for you to wear. I want to grease you up and ride you around like a piggy. Go away! I've already Say seen this, this, this obnoxious remark. Get this disgusting remark off my stream, jerk. Hey, here's a simple offer you can do, Perry. Uh, our friend Shane is offering fifteen dollars for you to put the fish that you got delivered earlier in your oven for the rest of the stream. Not cooking it or anything like that. Literally just placing it in there and at no the end you can toss it in the garbage. Way in the hell. Why? It goes in the trash outside. That's no, 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 no. We're not going outside now, Perry. It's, it's, it's going to go in the garbage. 
Perry, it's not going to bother you. I'm going to get out of that garbage barrel. Okay, resting position, please. I got to go shit again. God oh, damn it. I was afraid of that. It oh. sucks. All right, well, when you get back, put that in the oven, please. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be one of those streams. There he is. Uh, Perry's got one of those delicate stomachs. You know, what are you going to do? Third one of the day. So this is long stream today. It very well could be. Um, I don't know. I mean, Fridays aren't supposed to be marathons, or I mean, technically, uh, I, they're supposed to be two to three hours, which they very rarely are. This view is making my OCD worse. Yeah, I know. It it kind of. Kind of this too, for me. Can we get another Friday night pop up? Uh, probably not tonight, but I did. I did enjoy doing that last week, the double header. Although I, we did run into a problem, a lot of people didn't know um, that we were doing one at night, and I had multiple people contact me saying that they were watching the Friday day stream, you know, like on a delay, uh, because a lot of people can't watch this one live, and then. They didn't know that there was a live one that had popped up, you know, uh, so we'd have to announce that ahead of time if we ever do that. That's not going to be a regular thing, but we will do another uh, Friday night stream um, soon. I think we said we'll do that like the first Friday of every month or something like that. Uh, what did he eat last night? Last night, Perry had, uh, he went to... Gino's East, which is like a Chicago pizza place, but he didn't get a pizza. He got a Chicago hot dog, which is, is very unlike him. So I think uh, that hot dog, I mean, we all know that uh, Chicago, the two, Chicago is a great food town, but not for hot dogs and not for pizza. And I think the, um, yeah, I think the, the, the hot dog just did a number on him because I was getting texts like at crazy hours last night. Uh, when I when I woke up this morning, like he was sending me texts from like I guess it was like three a.m. his time and onward that he was uh, constantly shitting. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'll call him in a little bit for a poo and a. Tom, why doesn't Perry get his AC fixed? Because uh, he sees no problem with it, and he doesn't, uh, he barely utilizes it like the way normal people would utilize air conditioners. He likes it nice and hot in there. He likes, uh, he's, he's different. He's like a reptile. He's, he likes it, he likes the heat. Uh, it's amazing. He's got like well over 800 people watching on YouTube alone. I'm not even gonna bother looking at Twitch numbers. Uh, then they, they just if you're just tuning in now you're just looking at a completely empty chair because Perry's um, should probably get a graphic like just says uh, poop break in progress or something like that so at least it'll inform people <laughs> that he's on a poop break Someone suggests Tuesday's gambling stream, bet on darts, shots, pisses, and language. Yeah, I, I like the idea of a gambling stream. I'm not much of a gambler myself, to be fair, but I like the idea of it. I'm going to give him a quick call. my hands oh we're just about done okay all right, all right. oh don't hang up yet what now? 
Can you, when, on your way back, can you just put that fish in the oven till the end of the stream, please? It's 15 bucks. Hey, Bob. How are you? He's coming back. How much do I gamble in the stock market? Not much, not much to be honest. Uh, I've had a long-term investment. Uh, my biggest one is Microsoft, which goes back to like the late 90s. Um, I invest, when I had my first small business, I invested in a lot of like those uh, tech stocks and like dot-com stocks, which was the boom in like the, the late 90s. And luckily, I had good advice to get out of most of them um, by the time they all tanked. So I kept uh, Amazon and Microsoft, which is... Uh... In the bag, out of the bag! Um, out of the bag, please. Ugh. Let me get your camera. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Wait, hold on. I'll, let me get the camera on. Can you show it in the camera? There you go. Completely out of the bag. Oh, you're gonna fucking make my apartment smell like garbage. No, the the oven will conceal the smell. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta wash my hands again. God, I'm sick. Fine. No, after the stream you can do that. We're ending the stream in three minutes. No, we're not. Three minutes. That's it. No, not three I'm minutes. I'm not doing this anymore. All right, come on back. It's enough time away from the stream. Three minutes. No, stream it's not three over. minutes. Ugh, it smells. I think like you're being really dramatic. Here. Yeah, you were just in front of it. Of course it's gonna smell. Now that you're away from it, it's not gonna smell. It smells, I smell it over here. It smells like I'm in Newport Beach at the at the fisherman's thing. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else. Ugh. Like what? I'm at, like I'm at your house? Outsource offers to buy Perry a plane ticket. I'm not going to no fucking Orlando. I don't give a shit. The plane ticket to Orlando is going on. Offer will be accepted. Oh, buy me a ticket. I don't care because I'm not leaving. I'm not going to the East Coast, Orlando. I'll go to New York. I've already been there. I'm not going south to Mr. Humidity. Okay, ding bat. Get on. Ding it's bat. a human day here and my neck is on fire. Ding bat. I'm in hell right now. Ding bat. Can you read it the way it's written, please? Crowdsource offers to buy Perry a plane ticket to Orlando is going on, period. Offer will be accepted. No, it will not because I am not going to Orlando. I'm not going to Miami. I'm not even going to Pensacola where I have family. As adult mature as always, Perold uh, seems something he doesn't like. The sticks his his and sticks his tongue out. L M A O, which I don't know what those letters stand for. An actual five year old, at least a five year old, is allowed in snow. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Toilet Seat. I will be in the snow coming this weekend since I'm not allowed to go to the Long Beach Grand Prix. I'll be in the snow. Hey, Tom. Shamrock Tattoo is really ashamed of Perry's tat. 
They said if we'll plug them for the next six months they will remove Snowboarder for free. What do you think? It ain't no, it's not gonna happen because I'm gonna be in the snow, you son of the bitches. The bitch, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, for the next 900 years. Honestly, I think it's really good of a company to admit when they made a bad mistake and obviously- They made no mistake. Obviously, Perry has a platform. Can you just show your tattoo real quick? No. Well, he doesn't want to show it because it's really terrible. If he was proud of it, he'd show it. Uh, I'm not showing it because I'm proud of it. I'm showing it or, or because I'm because I'm not getting it removed. No. So it's not coming off the arm. Oh, yeah. I mean, the look, arm is not going to be removed. Everybody knows. The tattoo is not going to be removed. Everybody knows the place. The that... artist is a great, was a great kid. No. I forgot his name. But Everybody yes. knows that this is uh, a terrible Stand tattoo. Stand for snowboarder, actor, comedian. Yeah, I'm just going to mute him for a second. Everybody knows that this is a really bad tattoo, and the company's probably really embarrassed because their name is associated with it every time he flashes it. So... That's where I had it done, at Shamrock. Right. Right, and, and just saying, now that we say that, right. and, pe and people right. just saw right. the really... Okay, I'm going to mute him again. Uh, just so uh, when whenever he shows it, uh, their stock goes down basically, and people don't want to shop there. So of course it would behoove them to want to completely remove it. So I can see why they would do that. And of course uh, that's a defiant dart there. But yeah, I, I, I like that idea, Jim. Just let's uh, let's keep us uh, let's keep po get uh, each other posted on that. Perry, don't do any uh, scams back there. You got a camera in there. I'm allowed! Ciao! Anyway. 15 more minutes and I'm leaving town. No, not the way it works. <clears throat> Thank you for subscribing. <clears throat> All right, 14 and a half minutes and I'm leaving town. Tom, I heard a rumor you might leave Perry and go to Kenny Caravello live unless Perry moves to Florida and removes the line <coughs> tattoo. Never gonna happen. I'm not leaving this apartment complex ever. Dude, I work with 16-year-olds. I've seen them push through stomach cases and colds and work eight-hour shifts. You're a pussy. Man up into your easy job. Because I have stomach issues. Yeah, I'm a pussy. Thank you. I just took some pills so I don't have to freaking have diarrhea anymore. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But I might have to go to the bathroom again. I have a stomach issue today. I had had a hot dog yesterday. I don't know why I uh, had this problem, though, but... Ugh. It's been a long time since I've had this. Tim and Tom gave me permission to go and be inside your home to install the bleachers so fans can be in attendance for the live tattoo removal stream. There is no th such thing ever going to happen. Ever, 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 ever. Streaming tattoo will never happen. Removal, no. Arm. I'll get more fucking tattoos, loser. There'll be makeup put on the arm for the movie. That's it. No removal. Uh, sketch 317, go fuck yourself, you jag off. It says, Perry, if we remove the arm to get rid of that tattoo, you'll be able to get your first non-fake disability check. Nothing fake about almost losing my life in an auto accident, you disgusting, degrading, demoralizing, disabled, three-legged whack job. Check from the government of your life, M-H-H, -H, uh, the Satan numbers, and two whack jobs holding hands. 
Ugh. Oh, my neck is on fire. I hate this day. Mm. Pedro, how does it feel that a small army of people are required to bend over backwards to keep a roof over your head, and all you do is slander these people. Does it feel like shit? It should. I don't know what you're talking about, because I feel like shit due to my health issue, okay? It's got nothing to do with you folks coming on the stream. I have a health issue. Got it? Respect your effort on PCL. I know your job isn't easy. I look forward to you living near Lauderdale by the sea, Florida. So no fucking way am I going to Florida so so we can have man-tastic walks on the beach in leather boots. Go fuck off, whack off. I'm not going to Fort Lauderdale I'm not going to any Lauderdale of any sort. I'm not going to the state of Florida for any reason. Florida is too disgusting to me for my health matter. Even though I have family in Florida on my mom's side. And I've got an old, uh, well, I've got uh, an old girlfriend down. I've got a few girlfriends down there now. Um, let's see, Jennifer, Linda, Stacy, Melinda, and Connie are all in Florida. Anyway. Plus cousins and aunts and uncles that are no longer with us. Yo, Perry, try to listen to the stream while working. Can we chill with snorting your your snot up into your nose? It's really gross. Grab a tissue, dude. My God, happy 420. That's tomorrow, 420, PCL. Thank you for happy tomorrow, Saturday, 420. Thank you. I don't need to blow my nose. And I do, I've got two napkins right there. All right, you do need to blow your nose, Perry. I don't want to hear you snort. That's like a new thing you started doing. It's disgusting. Yeah, there's nothing to, nothing to blow out my nose. Okay, well, then you're snorting something up there. No, there's nothing. I'm not snorting anything. I'm not doing drugs or... And I, stupid. I didn't say you were doing drugs. I'm just saying you have some kind of. Or even this. This is the only thing that wake me up. <laughs> well, you really jam that in there. As long as there's no cocaine in there, that's all. Hmm. Here, I heard you did a bunch of coke and left your fanny pack at the bathhouse in Tarzana. I grabbed it for you. Can I swing by and drop it off? Not allowed. I don't do drugs. Those days are done. Done, done, done. I'm on medication for my health matter. I'm on stomach crap for my stomach matter. I got to go to the Costco to get more stomach garbage. I wish I could work a job that pays thousands a week, work two days and sit in a chair acting like a bitch. Be a man and show me them titties, big boy. 
Nope. Because my titties are not female titties. My titties are male titties, and I'm not showing off my titties. Coming to steal the thon, 626, everything must go. Credenza gone, trophy gone, diploma gone, bed gone. Ski's gone. Tattoo will not be gone. Message Jim for tickets. And uh, I am gone, gone, gone. I'm going to be gone on the day before, okay? Or the day or the week before because uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I leave. I'm, I'm, place will be locked up and no one's home. Can you read it as written, please? Again, I did. Coming this to come steal a thon, six twenty six, which is a day I'm going to be out of town. Everything must go. No one is allowed in my home again. Credenza gone. My my, which is my bedroom dresser that holds all my clothing. Trophy gone, which is not allowed to be touched by anybody but myself. Diploma gone, which is no one's business but mine because it's my diploma. I went to school and earned that degrees. <sighs> degrees. Or earn the stupid diplomas. Okay? Bed gone. No, no, no. Skis gone. No, no, no. Tattoo. Uh, skis will, will be with me because I'll be in the snow. Okay? Hint, hint. Tattoo gone. Never in a quizillion years. Message Jim for t for his... Uh, is obnoxious tickets that are not allowed in my home. Because there will be a homicide on that day if that happens. Be read everywhere. Perry, so far this stream, you have complained about your stomach, neck, being dizzy, eye pain, and a headache. Do you admit you are a hypochondriac? No, uh, yeah, I do when I am a hypochondriac. I also admit that I have problems today. Imbecile. I don't feel good today. Uh. Can somebody be sick and and, uh, and and not feel good? I'm not like this every day. I just don't feel good today. Ugh. Still, fuck you, Perry. Remove that tattoo. I said so. No, 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 no. Sammy Lawrence, go fuck yourself, loser. Margot Robbie, are you doing this movie in May too? What, which movie, honey? Are you going to be my girl in, in uh, my movie in May? Because if you are, that'll be nice. It'd be nice to see you again. It's been a long time. We got a hookup. <whistles> Is she my uh, girl in May? Are you dyeing your hair from blonde to brown for the movie or wearing a wig for the movie? Because the picture of me with the girl in the movie, she had brown hair, a blonde hair. I don't mind if she's got blonde hair, but, you know, blonde or brown, I don't care. Makes no difference to me. It's, I know you are a blonde, so if you want to wear a wig, that's your opinion. You're in your duty. Ugh. 
I don't want this at all. It's from Dave's Hot Chicken. Will never be allowed in my home again. It says, I want to hold you in my arms and feed you spicy chicken sandwiches. I will never again allow spicy hot chicken in my mouth because I am, uh, I, I, I can't take what it does to my stomach. You want me on the shitter all fucking day, asshole? Ugh. Why a company called Dave's Hot Chicken is in business to destroy my life? Fuck other people up. I, I don't care what you do to other people. people. Some people can eat this hot food and like it. I don't like it. And I don't like what it does to me. Okay? Oh, I hurt everywhere. I feel like crap. Ugh. What's this stupid song? Um, I'm playing this uh, thing that came in earlier. Uh, well, I'll I'll I'll, sh I'll tell you when the time comes. Oh, how about that? Well, what is that supposed to mean? Um, I'll tell you when the time comes. <coughs> I can tell you now. I'll, you know, I'll I'll tell you now. So uh, there's a person. I'll oh, wait till you're done with your fit. Um, there was a person that uh, submitted. Can you at least pretend to be somewhat engaged? I'm in pain, fucker. Go fuck yourself. I'll turn the goddamn computer off and say fuck you for everything. Try it. Try it, Perry. See how far you get. Right, sit up here. You don't have to be a baby bitch just because you're not feeling well, Perry. You know how many times I am not feeling well doing this, but. <laughs> Care. Of course you don't care because you're a baby. Anyway, somebody submitted like a tip comment, but they just put a YouTube link in, and I don't think they know how media share works. So I was just seeing if I can rip it and play it later since the guy sent it in. So anyway, this is what this is what one of the songs was. Ugh. I hate the way I feel that this sucks. I know. Hold on. And I yeah, so I'll, I'll play it a little later. I just, uh, what the you know, cause I, feel, I, I feel bad the guy sent in like three of them now, and I just wanted to give it its due, even though it's not media share. Anyway, that's that's what I was sampling. Whatever. Okay. Tom. I can't wait till we move this chimp out of this place into a retirement home and get someone respectful to do the stream. Be a man Peter Titty Boy. No, thank you, wacky. Ugh. Perry. You really think celebrity woman would want you? They want high value men. Let's see if you even qualify. First question. You ever jerk off men? Uh, mind your own business about what happened to me over 30 years ago, you sick bastards. Mind your own degrading, demoralizing, disgusting, disgusting, disgusting comments. Ugh. Get me off the air, please. Perry, Get me the not... fuck off the air. Hey, hey, Perry, hey, garbage mouth. You know that big dentist bill you paid yesterday? You were able to pay that because of your job, what you're doing right now. So suck it up for a little bit. And then, yes, I will get you, quote unquote, off the air. But do your job. I'm do I, I, I've done my job. I, no, all you're doing is complaining. Because I'm sick! Sick! S-I-C-K! Sick! Okay, psychopath. There's plenty of times that I'm sick, too. Everybody gets sick. And you know what? They manage to do their jobs. Okay? So sit up. 
Sometimes they don't do their job. Because yeah, I, they don't well, I know, but pray, even good. when you're not sick, you don't do your job. So uh, what does that say? Please. This Soviet skank. Feel me, my love. It's so um, it's so hot knowing that diaper is full of brown chunks. Perry Wink, that sloppy mud tube for me. Oh, you're a degrading psychopath. Oh, and Venmo me $50. You never paid me back. I'm not paying you shit. Ben holding hands in a freaking uh, eggshell. Ugh. Ow. Oh. Dude, can we stop with the fucking disgusting snorting? It's fucking gross. What woman would want to be in snorting. the apartment with this gross baboon? No one's allowed in my home right now. No one. But me, I'm not feeling good. I don't want anybody here. I'm not in good health today. Okay? No one's allowed here today. I was messing with you. Meet me tonight at the driver's reception 7 p.m. at Hyatt Regency Huntington Beach. Dinner special private time later. What? To when, when? When do you want me to meet you? When tonight? Is that what it says? You took it down faster than I could even read the damn thing. Put it back up. No, you should have paid attention. That's how it goes. It's the same time. Put it up! I turned the goddamn computer off. Put it back up! All right, you fucker! Computer off! Well, if you do that, you don't get paid, stupid. Damn it! Then you don't get paid, stupid. This is what you do. I didn't do nothing. You did this. No, I did nothing, Perry. You know, sit up and act like an adult. No, look, look what you look what you're trying to do here. Because of your button you pressed, you're almost doing it. So sit up, and if you push that button again, Perry, the computer's not going back on, which means you can't watch any of your TV or porno or whatever the hell you do. I haven't watched porno in days, okay? Oh, do I need days. to look at your search history? Days. Really? Let's, let's see if that's true. Oh, shit. Let's see if that's true. Oh, God almighty. Hey, Perry, if, it, if it's true, I'll tip my cap to you. Okay? You, a lot of YouTube watching. Chuck Norris versus Steven Seagal. Who wins? Who won in that? I didn't even see it. Well, it's on your uh, YouTube links. A lot of YouTube. Harmless prank on dad goes wrong. You watch prank videos? I don't even remember that. House implodes overnight. Well, oh, you're all over the place here. Okay, hey, you know what? No porn. Past 24 hours, no porn. I'm going all the way back. I mean, I, I gotta be fair here. You're right. You were right. You, you haven't watched porn in days. Wow, are you on like on a porn break? Not interested. Oh, because of the virus. Yeah, Perry had a couple of viruses. So the other day, uh, was it Monday? His stream was buffering. So I, I, I didn't mention this because I, I don't go on the air on Wednesdays. I didn't know that I had a virus. You did. I told you. I had uh, 38 of them. Uh, I did like, a deep, did like a deep registry scan. You did have some kind of virus. Yeah. And then this is uh, from uh, found big it. tits right there. Yeah, I saw lost. the X. Yeah. That was the last time you watched porn. Stop, stop. Oh, well, I'm, I'm getting back to where I was because the thing moved. How many days ago was that? Yeah, it was it was a couple of days ago, right? It was you haven't done it since the virus thing, so that's good. Here it is. Yeah. 
Just read these. Why? Because you were just reading it. It just says Mia uh, Khalifa, big tits. Big tits videos, busty woman uh, playing with a penis. Free free porn sex. Yeah, tube. that was it. So that was um. So it's been uh, about a about, week. No, it's been four days. That's pretty good for you. Well, that, that's a week. I mean, four days. But yeah, so I ran, uh, you know, like malware bites and a couple of things, and it was yeah, thirty-eight viruses. That's why his, if you noticed on um, Monday, his his uh, feed was stuttering a little bit. That was why. And I gotta go shit again, son of a oh, bitch. Oh no, please. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I hate this. Ugh. Don't worry, we hate it too. Ugh. Oh boy. I'm gonna. Somebody, somebody sent me a pool, a uh, P, uh, PCL poo break thing, but it, it's. I'll, I'll wait to get a better one. I'll, I'll write a note to get like a poo banner thing. Uh, all right. So how many is this now? This is the fourth one since we've been streaming. And then I know he was doing one right around noon Pacific when we were supposed to start and then God only knows how many he was doing before that but this is the fourth during the stream during the broadcast uh, please, please, please read his search history yeah I can do that but it was, like I said it, it wasn't any uh, porno stuff recently um, let's see also depends on what browser he's using. Sometimes he uses Chrome. Sometimes he uses uh, it's, uh, what, do you, what do you call that other one? Edge. Okay, so this is, this is just a lot of he watches a lot of YouTube, and so do I. So I can't uh, comment on this. Amazing Coke machine turns cokes into slushies. New York real estate he was looking up. That's interesting. A lot of weather stuff. Wild weather in Midwest. Anyone on Twitter or X? Kathleen Kennedy humi humiliated by South Park. <laughs> A lot of Kathleen Kennedy stuff here. Up oh, 10 states with the most uh, a-holes, which he did. Also 10 states with the most fake people. Interesting. Then, uh, yeah, just um, kind of skateboarding stuff. Nothing crazy. Nothing that pops out at me. Like, wow, that's very unusual. And yeah, no, uh, no porno in five days. Which is pretty good. Woke Hollywood has instant regrets. He gets into the same, you know, you and you can't blame him for that. Like, YouTube has this thing with the algorithm. Once you watch one thing, it, like, bombards your, your uh, you know, your homepage with uh, basically anything. I've noticed that it, YouTube's gotten a lot worse in that case. There were times where I'd be able to watch, like, something on YouTube, like, randomly. Like, if I'm, like, honestly, like... I had to look up how to fix my vacuum recently because like something happened with like the assembly and I was like, I bet there's some guy on YouTube that has a video for this. And sure enough, there was, and I watched the video and I did fix it. And then, you know, when I go back to YouTube, like later in the day, just to watch YouTube, it's like uh, five vacuum videos suggested to me. And, uh, and that's how I watch YouTube. I watch YouTube, whatever suggested to me, that's what I watch. And sometimes, it's just uh, it gets annoying like like where years ago like not that long ago like two years ago I could watch a vacuum repair video and not get my feed inundated with vacuum repair videos and if I search something like one like I do something for the stream all the time like hey how to do this how to do this like stream stuff like how do I add whatever you know um, and then all of a sudden I get so I almost I almost have to have like a side YouTube channel just for searches and leave my main channel alone. 
so it doesn't, you know, obliterate the algorithm. Like lately, I've been watching a lot of Titanic videos because I guess it was because uh, the anniversary just passed, and I'm a big uh, Titanic buff, and I was watching like uh, anyway various stuff, and now that that's all my chat, that's all it is. Boom, you know. So, I, I wish you, I wish YouTube could do better at that. And then God forbid I click on a, a, a you know one of our videos like PCL. If I do it, I always have to forget to do that because I just don't want PCL popping up in my personal feed. Then I'm slammed with Perry videos. Anyway, sorry about this, guys. If you're just tuning in, Perry's taking a dump. Uh, his fourth dump of the day. Uh, someone says, just delete him out of your history and then lock him out of the panel. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I'll just click on not interested or don't suggest channel. I do, I do that on occasion. Has that been the real you in Levy's live chat stream? Yeah, Mason uh, in Portland, a.k.a. Uh, Portland Shane Gills. Yeah, it has been. I, I, I really enjoy Bob's um, solo streams uh, on Levyverse. Shout out to Levyverse. Please subscribe to uh, Bob Levy's Levyverse if you're not already. Uh, but yeah, I had a drive. I wasn't feeling well one day. Then the other day, uh, not the other day, but last weekend, um, I had a drive upstate. Um, basically help a good friend of mine's um, uncle passed away and there's like all these issues with you know, he had this huge property and like just it's in shambles and I guess I'm the expert with that now because I've, I've helped a couple of people with it so I went up there and was like evaluating some stuff for them to sell like this estate sale anyway and on the ride there I was listening to Bob uh, on YouTube because I was trying to find like I, I'm just kind of out of podcast at this point um, like most of the stuff I listen to, I've either kind of gotten bored of or just wasn't in the mood for. And I wasn't in the mood to listen to music. So I was like, oh, let me see what's on YouTube because I forget. I got this Chinese um, uh, kind of like uh, Android TV dashboard now in my car. because I have my dad's old car now, which is like a 2012 Hyundai. And anyway, you can actually watch YouTube on it. Like the Chinese just don't care. Like you can actually put YouTube on it and it plays. So I was literally watching YouTube as driving and submitting super chats, which is super dangerous. Don't do that at home. But that's what I was doing. So yes, it was the real me. Thank you, Perry. How was that poop? Ugh. It's gone from shit to water. Well, didn't you Ugh. just take didn't you just take diarrhea pills? Yeah. I just took them, so. All right. All right, Perry. We don't have much to go. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll be fair Please with you. Please end this, like, okay. real fast. Can you, can, you, can you hear me talking? Do you got to, like, go I'm right. listening to you. Talk. You're not listening when you're talking over me about ending this. Um, there is a crowdsource here that I was going to do today, but I'm actually going to push it until Monday because you're not feeling well. And you know what? I don't think it would be very good. So... I'm going to push that Do to Monday. What? Um, Jim, can you give me the gist of what the crowdsource was? I don't have it in front of me. It was cute and fun. Tattoo's not going anywhere, so I don't, if, if your stupid crowdsource is to remove my arm, tattoo is not going to happen. It'll never happen. So you're retarded or ridiculous, obnoxious, disgusting, degrading. Removal of the arm or tattoo is never going to happen. Okay. I'll add more, okay? Great. Um, yeah. Paint my entire back. Okay. Skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, comedian. Right. The adults are talking here, Perry. Let me just... Um... You're not an adult. You're the biggest child on planet Earth. Right. Right. Uh, when, when in the history of PCL has there been a uh, crowdsource that has you like doing something to your arm? Never. Unless it's like cute and fun, like makeup removal or something. Anyway, here's the crowdsource. This, again, I don't need your, um, you know, Perry, I'm just going to actually mute you on this one just in case you start talking over okay. me. So, just listen. No talking, please. Uh, crowdsource. Perry must remove the hose from the shop vac and replace it with the barrel attachment. Turning the vac, the vac into a tank while wearing the futuristic glasses he received in mailbag, Perry must start out in the hallway and announce that he is 
Robovello, and he's come to do two things. Eat filet of fish and destroy Hooters. All right, you with me so far? Never in a quazillion years is that allowed. Okay, anyway. Period. Well, we're not doing it today. Anyway, so uh, Again, then... my calendar does never gets destroyed ever, 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 ever. Okay. Whack off. Okay, just listen, Perry. Uh, then Perry wheels the tank through his place searching for a target while acting like a robot. You know, like, doot, 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 you know, like infrared. Yeah, it's, it's acting, Perry. It's not really, you're not really destroying all those Hooters. Um, then he finds his target, the Hooters calendar, on the chair, on the patio. He must load up no. the cannon barrel with M&Ms and half Never. of the poop Never. powder he received today, which you got some poop powder, firing it at the calendar. He must execute two shots. Never. And he may collect I all M effing mines. And he may Am I collect okay. my calendars. Okay. I'm gonna just uh, mute him for the rest of this. Uh, and then he may collect any M and M's that are scattered throughout after and uh, reuse them. That's the uh, that's the deal there. Okay. So that's not for today. That's for Monday. And if you'd like to be a part of that crowdsource, not allowed. Uh, don't listen to Perry. Yeah, it's Monday, allowed. I'm not, not uh, PCL offers at gmail.com. Get a hold of Jim, and maybe we can do that for Monday. That'll be a fun thing for Monday. And whatever uh, Perry, Perry says, just ignore because it is allowed and it will be accepted. But uh, contact uh, PCL offers at gmail.com. And we'll get that going on Monday because I think he'd do a very bad job today. Because I'm sick, idiot. Ugh. I'm not reading this either. Uh, you are reading it, Perry. This jagoff by the name of C.J. Halliday, Mr. Gay Boy writes, No, Perry, you know you love men. No fucking way. Especially Randy Callahan, that sexy beacon of hope. Randy changed your life. He didn't change my life. He destroyed my life. I'm no big celebrity. I'm a fucking loser. He's the one that turned you gay. I'm not gay. Not homosexual. Out of your fucking mind. He sexually assaulted me and did what he did to me, but I'm not doing that ever again, nor am I allowing guys to do anything like that ever to me again. Once is it over 30 years ago. Ugh. And you just keep reminding me every fucking day. What happened to me over 30 years ago? Ugh. Oh, God. It's contractually binding that your tattoo comes off, so you have no choice. That disgusting, but... degrading fake snowboarder tattoo is coming off today. And then I'm going to be in the snow fucking all weekend long. You fucking jerk. You fucking jerk! Go fuck yourself! Cock sucker. Tonight. Hey, Tom. What Patreon level will we need to be to take part in Perry's therapy sessions? What therapy session? It's not allowed to be put on the internet. Stop bothering me. Thank you for subscribing for the next nine minutes. Perry Callahan, Randy Caravello, penis, Randy Fuck Caravello. Off.
Perry Callahan. Fuck Gay. you. Fuck Randy you. Carabello. Fuck Randy Carabello. Randy Carabello. Gay. 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 Penis. Would I ever Randy go Perry. that? Pride flag. Rainbow. Go the fuck away. Ugh. Hi, Percy. It's Foodie Beauty. I know you're majorly into poop play with John D. I'd love for you to fart in my face and I can sniff your poopy fingers. Shut up. Oh god, you're sick. It's Foodie Beauty again. Heard you were still into Randy and sending nudes to Joshi. Don't lead me on, baby girl. Can't wait to fart in your face. Never in a zillion years. <sighs> Yo, bear. It's me. Sly. You know. Sylvester Scalone. Amy just sent my the script to earn a movie. That sex scene with the trans woman is hot. You know? There better not be any trans people on this uh, movie that I'm doing. Better not be. Nothing. Even though Perry's stuff will be moved while they're in Ohio. Never fear. The stuff that I'm not going. will remain until 626 when we get to Ohio. I'm not going. Not allowed. Not allowed. You just fucking ruined me now, you son of a bitch. Computer's now off. Got it? Over and out. You fucking son of a bitch! Go fuck yourself! God damn it! Fuck you, do! Darling dear. Now apologize to the wrecking crew for that horrible outburst. Apologize to what crew? The wrecking crew podcast. No, the wrecking crew can go screw themselves. I don't want them involved in my life ever. The wrecking crew can can go straight to to their 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 disgusting wrecking wherever. Because they're not allowed in my home. They will never come to my home. They're never going to be allowed in my apartment ever. Okay, listen here, psychopath. And if, I, if, if when I'm out of my house on uh, 626, if people break into my home, I will make sure, I swear to God, I will make sure they all go to fucking jail. You understand me? You all go to effing jail. God damn it. Stop it with me! I'm tired, I'm sick! I don't feel good, they need to fuck alone! Get off my stream right now! Uh, listen to me, psychopath. Um, we had a long talk before the stream. You've gone against everything we talked about, of course, as always. Uh, you had an enormous dental bill yesterday. You, in order to pay bills like that, you do this stream right here, okay? And let me tell you something else. I've disabled your mouse so you can't turn off the stream. If you do it any other way by disabling your power, you will be without internet for the entire weekend. 
Okay, so think very carefully. I'm not even going to be in town. This uh, we know, weekend. we know, you won't be in town. But sit up and finish your stream, please. I've had a, I've had enough. Although I will give say, me, give, me, give me, the thing to read. Do, 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 do. I will say this. Uh, for someone who's sick, your uh, your energy is off the chart, so uh, that's good. All right, pay attention, please," said Fred Sanford. Ugh. Ugh. Perry, get my hot sauce. It's great with humane steak. It's antiseptic spices prevent diarrhea and I hope prions. It's why I still have a sharp Sick. mind. Ugh. You're disgusting. How long did you and that dude Randy date in high school? And I never dated a Randy in high school. I know a girl named Randy in high school. Uh, did he let you wear his Letterman jacket? What Letterman jacket? I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. Question, question. Question mark, question mark. Do you miss making out with him under the bleachers? Question, question, question. I never made out with a guy under the bleachers. <laughs> Whack off. Uh. Hey, Perry, let's talk guy stuff. My brother might be pregnant with a little Eclipse baby. Unsure about his wife's semen quality, so I send you a sample. You're sick. Ugh. Oh shit. Perry, keep your fucking mouth shut. You will remove snowboarder. You are not ever going to be a snowboarder. I'll be and in the snow what? tomorrow yeah, and Sunday. So fuck you. Got it? Got it? Got it? I'm going tomorrow and Sunday up to the fucking mountains. Wherever the fuck it is. Whether it be local here in Big Bear or Wrightwood or Mammoth, I'm going. Cocksucker. Perry, you will never get laid with that nasty, dirty rug. Why are you not embarrassed to live with that? What What are you talking about? What dirty rug? The, the, the carpet? You're in my house? Yeah, it looks like shit, I know. I know. You know, the complex will replace that for you. It's in the lease. You have to, they it's... have to do it. They don't have to do anything if they don't well, want no, to. No, but you're, 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 if you want one, they have to do it. But you just don't want to move your stuff out for a day to get it done. Right. Which is crazy. All it takes is just some, some simple green and a scrub brush and a good why do you do it? behind me. Because I'm lazy. Thank you for being honest. Yes. <clears throat> And when I feel like this, I just want to poop. Why am I looking at a stupid... Yeah, okay, because this person, you know, put something in here, and they don't know how media share works. They think if you put in a YouTube link, it's going to play on the screen. It doesn't work that way. Feature we only share. do. It's maybe a new person, maybe someone who has is not used to submitting things, okay? Uh, we only do media share on Mondays. Hey. All right? Um. You gonna pay attention, or are you gonna? Um, so, but let me at least play. I'll, I'll get those loaded in for. Uh, oh my god, this guy! Uh, I'll get those loaded in for Monday to whoever submitted them. But let me play one now. I'll, I'll do. You know, be a nice guy and play I one now. I don't know what the hell you're gonna screw me with now. I'm not screwing you with anything, Perry. I'm trying to. If you were paying attention, you'd realize what exactly what I was talking about. How can I pay attention with anything more than my sick stomach today? Okay. Well, you asked the question. Why boys of '92 submitted a thing? Why is that stupid thing coming? It was obviously somebody who doesn't know how it works. Just put a YouTube link in, and uh, this was one of them. I'll play them all on Monday, but I'll play one right now. We're breaking. Place 
got a lot of rings in the air, just chilling. Bathrooms open up. I hate you. Not a lot of my home. Perry Caravello. We're in your zone. Oh, yeah. A fish fiesta. We brought them by the load. By the load. Bob Levy's driving in his race car bed. Park in the living room. That's what Perry said. Not a lot. Light it up. Light it up. Perry Bathroom freedoms loose. Perry doesn't know, but we're the crew. So this is a uh, this is a new boy band taking the world by storm. It's the Boys of '92. Uh, so shout out to the Boys of '92. You can see them there. They obviously they got the look, they got the attitude, they got the voice, they got the jacket, they got, they got, got the fedoras. Everything uh, they're stealing from me. Well, look, uh, that, that was fantastic. You're going to hear more from the boys of 92 on Monday. But uh, I think there's a lot of uh, exciting I'm things coming from anymore. these uh, very talented young gentlemen. Whatever. Anyway, my eyes are killing me. No, we're not, we're not done yet, Perry, so don't put your glasses away. Fucking ass wipe. I will say now, though... Um, that we'll do uh, we'll do last call on tip comments uh, and super Thank chats you. if you want to get them in get them in within the next 10 minutes on this stream otherwise they'll just be carried over to the next one but if you want to get them in in this stream <coughs> just get them in the next 10 minutes hi Jim and Tom can you please tell me if it's okay for me to cut a piece of drywall off Perry's wall and take it home as a souvenir Fuck you! Fuck you! You're not allowed in my house, asswipe! My apartment is the apartment complex! Cut off my drywall, jerk! You're not allowed in my home, period. Ugh. Oh. By the way, Jim says yes. I you can. Like shit. I yes, feel you like can shit. take it. Uh, Jim says, but just a small square. Don't. Jim is not a lot of my don't home. Be don't not be greedy about the drop. Just a small square. There's a lot for everybody. Nothing here. Okay, Perry, wake up and let's finish up here. If you wake up, yes. I, I, I want to yeah, finish uh, uh, this. Uh, listen, show. hey, Perry, here, here's the deal. This is this is the deal. Uh, the logical thing that you should do. Instead good, of talking be, over me, instead of talking alone. over me, instead of being a garbage mouth, just finish your stream for the next little while without the arguments. Without, I already got you off the hook. You don't have to do any crowdsource offers until Monday. Okay, straight ahead. That's where the stream is. And if you finish up like a good boy, you can take all the nappy poos you want for the rest of the day. Jesus Christ. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, it's me, Falafel Dave. Remember when we were kids and you made me close my eyes and open my mouth and use the pee pee inside my are. mouth? I liked it. I don't know what you're talking about. You're degrading, disgusting, and sick. Falafel Dave. I don't remember ever having a Dave. Which is a more important item, Perry? The grocery store diploma or Nathaniel's bones in your credenza that you masturbate with? You're sick. Go away. I don't masturbate with bones. I don't masturbate. Lately. Sick fucking low life. How long did you and that? Ugh. I never dated a guy named Randy in high school. 
God damn it. <sighs> Did he let you wear his Letterman jacket? No, 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 stupid. <sighs> and I never... And do you uh, miss making out with him under the bleachers? I never made out with a guy under the bleachers. Whack off. <sighs> Oh, shit. Uh, are you the guy that doesn't return to shopping carts? Well, that's been a while, so that was that was some time ago. Listen, Perry, and you listen good. No, I'm not getting no tattoo removed. It's not going to happen. Tattoo's not coming off my arm. Ever. Read it as written, please. It's uh, some jag off by the name of Justin Kyle says, you listen, Perry, and listen good. You're getting that tattoo removed. No, I am not. No, I am not. And I'm leaving town tomorrow. I won't be back for a couple of weeks. Not a couple of months or a couple of years. <sighs> Ugh. If you send me that fucking fresh raw fish like a jack... Let me read it the way it's written. This moron writes, Perry, more fresh raw fish is on the way. It's a natural air freshener and disgusting as a fuck because it's in my goddamn uh, stove right now. Put that Mexican fish in your pillowcase. It can help with neck fake pain. Fuck off. Go to hell. Get off my stream. Let me read my plugs and get out of here because I don't feel good. No, that's not happening Bastards. yet, Perry. That's not happening yet. Oh, son of a bitch. Perry, it's Sly. So you are really going to film this in Florida? Amy said that you are so dumb you will believe Florida is Ohio. Keep on punching. I'm not going to Florida ever. Oh, shit. And if I go to Ohio, I'll be lucky. Go to the Rock Hall. Ugh. What are, you, what are you doing to me here? You're gonna make me sit around and show my my filth to these these fans that like to watch me be disgusting today, and I'm very sad and sorry that I have to be sick on the air. Because I'm being poisoned by a guy that likes to watch watch me look like a freaking imbecile. Hey Perry, Rosie here. We have a love scene together coming up in May. Let's get lunch next week and discuss. Looking forward to knowing you. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not working with this sick pig in my movie. Out of the question. Out of the question. I'm not working with this woman in my movie. We have a love scene. Hey, Perry. When you had to jerk off RC, did you attempt to use the fake neck pain as an excuse then to men holding hands? 
Go fuck yourself, Jagoff. Ow. And you want me to live in fucking Florida? The humidity right now is around 55 here in LA. It sucks. Okay? It really sucks. And you want me to live in Florida where the humidity is in the 70s and 80s? Always. Blow it out your ass. PCL is real guy stuff, but Perry is a man made for women. You should know if you're paid blowing a dude ain't gay. No diddy. Doing your job I never is blew guy a stuff. Dude, dude. Oh, you're sick. Oh, God, I sent the fuck up. Can I read my plugs, please? Hey, Perry, my Uncle Brian told me that you get diarrhea from snorting coke. So are you snorting cocks again, Perry? I don't snort coke or cock, sick bastard. Is it the AIDS again? Do you need me to come to you, life partner? I'm coming over Go right away. now to hold you and Rod Vicks all over you like last time. Go away. I don't know you. It'll never happen. You're not rubbing Vicks on me. Sick perv. Ugh. I don't feel good. Hey, babe, if you're feeling all right, I'm going to come over tonight. I'm in town for this new skateboarding movie I'm doing and want your knowledge. You're going to come over tonight. You get your stereo back. Yay, get it out of my house. What time are you showing up so I know I'll be home? Otherwise, I'm not going to be home. Ugh. Perry's grandpa was dick slapped by Al Capone. His dad was dick slapped by Navy hey, Boys. Shut up, you Perry was dick slapped by Randy and Don. Caravello men love hot dick. Oh, you're disgusting, gross, degrading pricks. Off my computer. Oh, please. Just talk to your apt manager. They will replace the carpet and renovate the entire apartment on June 26. But your rent will go up by 1200 You're welcome. Not allowed. Not allowed. Got it? Not allowed. Oh, please, let me leave, let me read my plugs. I need to get out of here, please. Please. God, oh my. Falafel Dave, here. Remember when you told me how excited you were when Randy sucked you like a milkshake? No, I never said how excited I was. You're, gr you're degrading, disgusting, demoralizing, and grosser than shit. Sick bastard. Ugh. Jim says you're going to Ohio and he's your boss. Jim is not my boss. Doesn't matter how many gay bars and tattoo removal shops you have to go to, pair I. Suck it up like Randy. I never sucked Randy. Randy sucked you know what and sucks. And the girl from Palm Springs High School is an old friend. Was way back when. Hey, 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 brew. It's liquid shrimp. 
Can you get the credenza emptied out for me? No. I'll be by around three to pick it up, and I don't want your mom's old clothes. My old clothes are not going anywhere, and my dresser is not going anywhere. Dipshit. Ugh. Okay. Plugs, please. <clears throat> oh, Christ. I'm a sloppy fat slob. I want no McDonald's sent here ASAP. Also, the tattoo is never getting removed, and I'm lying when I say it isn't. I'm not gay. Also, I'm also not gay. Jerk. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Period, don't listen to them. You were in the snow, in fact. You spent 99.9% .9 of the time crawling and falling in the snow, so you are a true snowboarder. Okay, and I'll see you this weekend in the snow. <clears throat> okay. No Long Beach Grand Prix, it'll be snow. <sighs> P-E-R-R-I, I've seen interviews with Randy Callahan, and as you call him Daddy RC, every interview he says that he never blew you, he says that you blew him. Now that's a lie. Fucking lie. Bye. And computer off. Computer's not off, Perry. Sorry. Computer off. <sighs> Sorry. Did you just read this one? No. Yes, I just read it. Okay. Sorry. I got a couple of things going on at once. Why did you leave Jehovah's Witnesses and they, and why does uh, Tom say they won't take you back? <clears throat> I, I haven't been able to go to the Kingdom Hall. It's so cute that you're taking a Casey, I, Case, Casey. Gaycation on no, I'm not going on no gaycation on 626. I'm seeing friends, family, whatever on on 626. And no, I'm not celebrating some homosexual love because I never did homosexual love with anybody. <clears throat> For Randy Cal, uh, Randy, whatever the fuck that whack job's last name is, I give a shit anymore. I wish someone loved me like this. Explanation point, rainbow flag, and a and, and lipstick. Ugh. Are you proud of your grocery store diploma? Fact is, you were so bad at bagging groceries, the company had to send you to a school to teach you. 
No, idiot. I took grocery checking class, not bag checking, not bag. I learned how to run a cash register in that class, not learning how to bag groceries in that class. That's why it's called grocery checking. Learn how to run a cash register. Or you got to lose the diaper, your natural bulge is the icing on the cake. That is PCL. Why the, by the way, I hope you're enjoying my fish. I've been sending it. Yeah, I don't like it. It smells like crap. And I'm about to throw up. Ugh. 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 Oh. It's Danica, meet me at the driver's reception, 7.30 p.m. at High Regency Huntington Beach Resort. We'll have private time afterwards. Tonight, no, 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 I'm not going, sorry. No, I don't feel good today, okay? Uh, 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 uh. Off this, uh, this, uh, we're almost this, done. This, if, you, if, you could avo- if you could avoid any more uh, fake throwing up things, uh, we can go faster. Fake throwing up things? Yeah, you didn't actually throw up. You were just burping. As as I saw like three rocks coming out of my mouth. Nah, there were no rocks coming out of your mouth. But Perry, I, I was a master at fake throwing up when I was a kid to get out of going to school. That was not real fake throwing up. You could put a little more effort into it. I'll give you some tips. If you really want to fake throw up, I'll give you some tips, but not right now. All right, there were, set there up. Were three things came out of my mouth, uh, okay? Wow. I can make an easy joke there, but I won't. Oh. Can I read my plugs? Perry, I can remove your tattoo with a belt sander. Not loud! The tattoo of lies will be gone. Not you will loud. never be a snowboarder. You are delusional. Not loud! I'm leaving tomorrow. Stupid ass. I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight because I just. It's... Wah, wah. Uh, I'm too sick to stream. But I'm going to be in the snow all weekend because we all know I'm a faker and I'm not ill. Wah. Shut up. Evil bastard. Ugh. 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 Pepto Bismol is what I need. Hey Perry, just sold my stream to Jim, so we're colleagues now. I'm more famous, so I guess that Ugh. makes me your supervisor. Turbo no, is not my real you. son. No, thank you. You're not a part of this stream. 
Ugh. <sighs> Perry, it's me, Dorito Phil. Remember when we were kids and you demanded I stick my fist in Uranus? You said it was like the black guy. You're disgusting! Fun. Gross! Get out of here! Get the fuck off my stream, you sick bastard! Perry, the more you get up, the more longer the stream is going to take. So sit down. The fish is out of the No, then you don't get paid. You, no, that's to stay for the whole stream. Take it out now, and you don't get paid. Gross! You, out, son, gone, bye. Well, then you're then you're not then you're not getting paid. Then you're not getting paid. I, Leave it where it is till the end of the stream, and you're just wasting time now. You're adding time to the stream. You want to be done? Put the make, open the open the oven. Let me make sure it's still there. Put it back. Put it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you just wasted five minutes. You added five minutes to the stream when you didn't have to. That fucking smells like fucking death. Well, could, that's because you were just in there. There's a death in my goddamn kitchen. I'm done with my fucking stream and I'm done with you. You evil fuck. Well, then good luck paying your dentist bill. I'm done with your goddamn shit. That son of a fucking bitch. All right. A hey, psychopath. There's no dentist bill being paid unless you sit down. Right now, and finish your stream. No more darting up, no more fake throwing up, no more running into the kitchen, none of that stuff. Move up the chair, move up the chair. Let me read my plugs and get out of here. No, you just added five minutes to the stream by doing what you did. Oh, fuck off. Well, you did. You didn't, if you didn't get up, we'd be closer to the end. Oh, shit. This moron says, upon landing in Orlando, you'll be drugged, passed out, stripped, and can kiss that tattoo goodbye. It will be replaced by a, a stamp... A tramp stamp of a pack of Marlboros. F you, my love. Smooches. Johnny Russo, take your disgusting, de degenerate loser remark and shove it up your back door. Because I'm never going. Never, ever, ever. Now I know why my neck is all fucked up because of the goddamn clouds and this weather. Ugh. Oh, get me out of town. There we go. Megalodons. I've been spotted off the California coast. Yay. Beware. When you're swimming in California, if you're uh, Italian, it's their favorite. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Yeah, I love my, I love my Megalodon sharks. Those 150 foot motherfuckers. Love them. Great to eat. Yeah. Shark meat. Gives, gives you energy and strength. Love eating shark meat. Ugh. Okay, this whack job is, is just disgusting. So he says, Perry, I know you got to poop right about now. Oh, God. Well, while you're in there, Venmo me my fifty dollars. You owe me. I didn't. I don't owe you squat. You pay me bills. I don't. I don't. You pay my bills. I don't pay for your bills. I told you when you offered me a HJ. I don't know what HJ stands for. That I need my money. I don't know what HJ stands for. Hijack. I'm not hijacking you. Volkerstein, what is this thing on my right in blue? They just, like sent blue an, they just sent an emoji. It's 10 euros. Oh. Say what, thank what's, you. What's, just say thank you. Th well, thank you. Okay. Well, what are 10 euros? $10? Depends on the day, but just about. Okay, give or take. Because that sign is not a dollar sign. That's why I... 
And I guess that's for euros. Uh, hey Perry, warm, lovable suggestions. Your stomach might feel better if you didn't guzzle down drinks and food like an animal. I'm not eating. I, I had white rice to to calm my stomach down this morning, and uh, shit went from poop to water. So now I'm just pooping water until that's done. I'm not eating anymore today. Can I ask a question? What made you get a Chicago hot dog last night? That's so not like you when you go out to eat. Like I think that's what did it to you. That's what I'm afraid of. It's it's this thing that was it was everything that was on the hot dog. Right. The hot dog alone is normally when I go to like um, Costco for a hot dog, it's always ketchup. I'm not a mustard person. So That's it's always Scott, first of all, ketchup on a hot dog is should be illegal, but um, you know, like mustard. Nothing on the hot dog. It's just bun in the in bun. Right, but meat. Chicago hot dog has all kinds of crap on it. Plus, it stinks. Did you, did it have the Pepper pickle herbs. on it too? Because doesn't a Chicago dog have the pickle on it? I removed that. Why would you get something where like half of it is shit that you don't like and can't stand? There was pickle that I removed. There was relish that I couldn't get off the right. damn thing. Like a uh, Chicago dog is everything you hate. So why would you order it? That's my question. I because of the size, the the, the big three quarter or the big quarter pound. Uh, we, are we talking like foot long size here, like huge size? No, it was it was you know like like uh, like a regular Costco dog. One of those in size. Anyway, I think that's what did that it. I think that's what did it to you. That's probably what did it to me. It's exactly what I'm afraid of. Yo, it's me, Nacho Steve. Stop acting like a bitch. If you don't stop when you go to Ohio to remove her tattoo, we will empty and destroy your apartment. You're not allowed in my home, loser. I'm not going to Ohio. Sorry to say, I'm not doing this movie. If, if you guys think you're going to break into my home and steal my shit, fuck you all. Again, fuck you all. Got it? Yeah, I just said the F word. Screw off, all of you. No one's allowed to break into my home and steal my stuff. This is not allowed either. This moron says, my name is Anthony Lini, uh, L-L-E-N-E. -E. Yeah. It says, my name is Perry, and I want to smoke cigarettes like I smoked on Randy back in 1992. I never smoked a guy's dick, ass wipe. I'll break you in fucking two like a punk, you little bitch. I'm not a snowboarder, which I'm doing tomorrow and Sunday. Fuck face and desperately want to uh, want want my tattoo removed. No, I don't want my tattoo removed. The arm is never to be touched. Jackass. And I have to. And if I have to prove that I'll be in the snow tomorrow, I'll take pictures of me in the snow tomorrow, as well as Sunday. Otherwise, no pictures are allowed. Rick. Can I read my plugs, please? I'm in the middle of a hot wordle wordle sesh. Can you think of a five-letter word that starts with P-E-N? Pencil? That's, that's actually six letters. Oh, 
God. Barry, this word is great. Can you think of a four-letter word that has a S and W in it? I'll GE you a hint. It's something you will never be in. Snow, I am going to tomorrow and Sunday. Got it? Get it? Over and out. Kraut? Snout? Douchebag bitch? Or I leave tonight. There. Tina Carano, if you're not over here by 6 p.m., I'm gone. Bye. You want your fucking car stereo? You better be here before 6 p.m. Otherwise, I am gone. Out of town. Good night. Perry, back to Wordle. Any any ideas for a five-letter word that starts with R-U-M-P? You're not starting with four letters. It takes five... Whatever. I'm not reading that again. She better get here within the next 30 minutes because I'm leaving town. Ass wipes. Oh, shit. Tom B, when Perry passes on, I would like to buy his H-E-A-D. I believe... <laughs> A lot of money renting it out to gay men. Go fuck off, you sick bastard. We can split the profit. You're gross. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. oh, God, you're sickening. I feel like shit. Very hope you feel better, bud. Love your work. Also, dibs on the credenza. No, you're not touching it on 526 or 626. Cheers, bud. Or even 426. Not allowed. Perry, are you trying to give us a boner with all that grunting and moaning? Your fake heinous turns a gaze on. Are you teasing them? That's sexy. Fuck off. I hurt, and my chest is killing me, okay? I just go to the hospital from here. This sucks. This is the Internal Revenue Service. There seems to be a discrepancy with your taxes. You owe us $5,346.66. You owe the FCC $1,200. Contact us. What in the fuck is this about? Why would I owe you all this money when uh, I live on disability? Because I'm disabled. Okay. I'll say it like it is. Oh, fuck. This word is great. Five letter word that starts with S and starts with G R O S and another S. Gross. You miss, you're missing an S. Okay. Can I read my plugs, please? Get out of here. Again, 
If you put this uh, on my stream again, this I'm is a new one, Perry. It. Sit up and do your goddamn job. I'm doing my goddamn job, you goddamn prick. Perry, here's a good one. Five letter word that starts with vomit. Wordle fun. It's not wordle fun. It's gross. B O M I. It's gross. We've got about five minutes left, Fred Sanford. Can you pull it together for that? Thank you. I hope so. Mr. Caravello is officially allowed in Long Beach for the Grand Prix. He can come and watch the whole race, as long as he removes the tattoo. Not allowed. Not going. I'm in the snow, bitches. Bye-bye. And if Gina doesn't get her ass over here tonight, I'm going to have to uh, leave tonight. She better be here no later than 6 p.m. Understood? It's 1.13 now. You got four and a half hours to get here if you're in Hermosa Beach. Doesn't take four hours to drive up from Hermosa Beach or even La Jolla. If it takes two hours, it takes two hours from La Jolla. Gina and Perry will never move to Florida. Sick bastard. Ow, shit. Mm. The more you ask to read your plugs, the longer you stay on stream. Stop your complaining and make us some money. We owe the IRS thousands of dollars. I don't owe the IRS squat. I'm on... Oh, you're... Oh, shit. We? Uh, there's no we here, idiot. We owe the IRS. You owe the IRS. I don't owe them shit. Imbecile. Which one of your crimes gave you a bigger bone e uh, bon bon but this says B O N dash E R question mark. Laying down Linda's cats or suffocating Mike Majestic with a pillow in his hospital bed. I never saw the guy in the hospital bed, so uh he took his own life. Imbecile. This is the Internal Revenue Service. We were contacted by a John Malendez. He has informed us that you are committing tax fraud. Contact us ASAP. My cousin pays my taxes and they were paid, and it's none of your business. None of your business. <laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> Stuttering John contracted the IRS. <laughs> what the fuck is this bullshit going on now? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> 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 Get me off the screen, please. I'm tired of being sick and being on the fucking computer showing off my, my disgust. This is gross. Oh, Christ. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. 
Stop it. Let me read my plugs and get out of here. Don't forget you you placed your comedy diploma under your bed. Whatever. It's in the oven right now. Bye. Plugs. Uh, visit our website for official PCL merch, pericurvelive.com. Access media, share streams, phone calls, and bonus content, patreon.com forward slash pericurvelo. Order a cameo, cameo.com forward slash pericurvelo. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash pericurvelo live. Follow us on X at PCL official X and at Perry underscore Caravello. Follow us on Instagram at Perry Caravello Live and at Perry Caravello. Also follow us on TikTok at Perry Caravello. And if you want to send me mail, send the mail to ouch 18960 Ventura Boulevard, Box 209, Tarzana, California 91356. Ugh. Thank you. Over and out. We are done. Stream over. Over and out. Thank you. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Is my uh oh Jesus Christ?
Hey Perry. Hey Perry. Hey, what? What? What now? I forgot to tell you, you're kind of still on camera, so everyone can see that you were faking, because obviously now you're fine that since you're off camera. But what? Now, now everyone can see that you were faking being sick, because you're all fine now in the kitchen. So I forgot to tell you, the camera was still on. But now the camera problem in the kitchen is now being turned away. Well, Perry, but people already saw that you were faking. Faking. Yeah. Faking. It's amazing how all your belches and burps went away. It's actually a better angle, thank you, Perry. The whole kitchen now. Did you just break your garbage disposal again because you don't know how to use it? What? Did you just break your garbage disposal because you don't know how to use it? No, no. I just removed a piece of fish out of the garbage disposal. There, there it is. Um, can you apologize to the stream for faking your illness because now everyone can see that you were faking. You're not belching anymore. You're not grabbing. Faking what? I'm not puking. Well, you're not doing anything. You, you, you seem perfectly fine now. The guy who was sitting on the chair was grabbing his chest and, oh, can I read my plugs now? And now look at you. You're as right as rain. The second you thought, the second you, thought you were off the stream. Don't touch the camera, Perry. That's property of PCL. Put it back where it was. Property, it's not mine. Yeah, right. Property of PCL. Exactly not yours. So don't don't yeah. damage it. I'm not damaging it. I just moved it. Well, leave it alone. Well, I'm just saying, do you want to come back to the camera and apologize to the stream no! for faking? No, there's no apologies to be made. Because I'm done. The show's over. Right, Good night. but just, just say, hey, guys, I wasn't that sick. I was just faking. Faking nothing. I'm, I'm not feeling good. I don't feel good. Right, I know. I'm just saying. God, all you want to do is bitch and make me look like a fucking imbecile. Yeah, there's one more thing that came in here, Per. No, not allowed. Oh, it's from Margot Robbie. So pay attention. What, what does she want now? Well, here it is. Baby, I'll send you some pepto right now if you stay on live for another two hours. Love ya. No. All right, two more no. hours. No. I'm going to the. I'm going to the store now. Two more hours of PCL. No. Fucking way. All right, just sit down. Let's get. Let's get ready to do two more hours. You could do two more hours. Good night, jackass. Shit. All right, guys. Well, hey, listen. Uh, thanks for hanging out uh, today. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody. I know there's some super chats that came in like at the last minute. Uh, don't worry, uh, we'll get to those first thing on Monday, promise, and uh, I might wait for Perry to come back in from his garbage dump, but uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you. By the way, uh, I was very impressed with Perry today because he normally, when he's like quote unquote sick, he's usually very low energy, but you can't really can't complain. He's very high energy today, even though... He was, you know, quote, sick. Uh, I thought he was great today. I wouldn't say that to him because I don't want to give him, you know, a big ego or anything like that. But I thought he, I honestly thought he was great. He had great reactions today and uh, everything was, everything was great. But watch him, uh, watch him be completely, completely fine within the next hour. I think the espresso helps with the energy. I think the espresso is the key. I don't, and it may, he may get immune to it eventually, but I've been getting him these, uh, sp I didn't do it today because I did it later during the stream, but I, since my last Friday, was it? No, since Monday, I, he's been taking a little, uh, espresso, uh, right before the stream starts. And, uh, I think it, I think it works. It definitely worked on Wednesday. I thought uh, Wednesday was one of the better uh, weather matters that we've had. Uh, and I want to see... 
um, what the outlook is for... Oh, somebody says, can you give us what the uh, YouTube Twitch outlook is? What's the deal from now on? Well, I said last week that we were going to go to Mondays would be Twitch and YouTube as usual, and then Wednesdays and Fridays would be uh, YouTube exclusive. Uh, I'm going to walk that back for now because it seems like the 100 or so people that really like uh, the Twitch streams... Um, we're having a hard time transitioning, so I'll, Wednesdays are going to be YouTube exclusive, except maybe the gaming streams, and honestly, even the gaming streams might eventually go to YouTube. But for now, uh, gaming streams and Monday and Friday, but everything else would be YouTube exclusive. And that's just for now. That could change in May, where because it eventually will go, uh, Mondays will stay Twitch and YouTube as always, and then... Um, the rest would be YouTube exclusive, but that's just for now. And I explained the reasons why earlier. Rewind the stream. I don't want to uh, go over that again. But, but the bottom line is Twitch has really made some bonehead decisions over the past year and a half or so that's hurt them. And I don't want to, we're not abandoning Twitch. We'll still stay on Twitch. Uh, thank you, D-Bag, for liking the stream, by the way. Like, like it for Perry, too. He says, I like for Tom and Chris. No, Perry was good today. I don't know what anybody's talking about. You know, Perry might have had a little bit of an attitude today, but I thought he was great. I mean, I really, you know, sometimes people get mad at me when I say, good job, Perry. Like, I'm saying, you know, good job at acting or something like that, or good job rewarding bad behavior. But I thought he was, you know, he was Perry. You know, I mean, what do you want from him? Yeah, somebody says NVIDIA. Fought. Yeah, I don't have any NVIDIA uh, stock, but uh, I hear pe a lot of people uh, panicking about NVIDIA. I don't want to turn this into a Tom B. Uh, stock stream, so I'll, I'll stop talking <laughs> about it. But, yeah. But uh, this is not stock. I don't give stock advice at all, but I, I do think I do think Tesla is a, a buy right now. It closed at 146. I think it's a buy. But it's, uh, what do I know? Don't take my advice. I'm just going to wait for Perry to come. He, Perry just went to dump the trash. And my I, my finger was right on the um, Ricky Horny trigger. But I don't know. I, I just I, I wanted to wish everybody a good, uh, happy weekend and everything like that. We'll be back on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. If you didn't hear the announcement earlier, next Wednesday, because we rotate Wednesday categories, next Wednesday is going to be uh, Perry and Bob Levy again, the Bob and Perry stream, whatever we end up calling that. And please, please, please do us a favor and follow our good friend Bob Levy on his channel, the Levyverse. Levyverse on YouTube. Also, the Shuli Network, but uh, Levyverse on uh, YouTube. He's uh, it's a recently launched channel, and uh, obviously, please like and subscribe his stuff because Bob's a great guy. Hi, right, Perry. You ready to do those two hours now? <laughs> I'm in your no, house right I'm now. Two hours. I'm shutting the computer off. All right, you go ahead. You son of a bitch. Computer off right no. now. No, you can't. I turned no, it off. Bye bye. Yo, fuck you. Power off, then, you fuck. Power off, motherfucker. Well, then you're gonna break the computer. Then you're gonna break the computer. I can't break the computer right now. You motherfucker. Who are you texting? <laughs> All right, I straight up love when he forgets that I disabled his mouse. That's my new favorite PCL thing ever is when he goes to use the mouse and gets even angrier when he realizes it's disabled. All right, come on. Let's do it. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. I said out of my house. All right. Can you wish everybody a happy weekend? Wish everybody a good weekend. Fuck off. Can you blow people a kiss? I'll end it if you blow people a kiss and wish them a nice weekend. They get to see my ass, motherfucker. No, come on. Okay, wish people nice. a, wish people you a happy my weekend. Ass. You fucking wrong my day, you fucking prick. Get out of my life. Have a good weekend, everybody.
Vegeta is here and bye. What? <laughs> if Gina Corrado got here hours, her her stereo thrown in the trash. Oh, Perry, you gotta come back to the camera to announce that. That's a big announcement. You announce it. I'm, I, I can't even get up. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll announce it if you let me do a little uh, after hours while people watch Bye. you sleep. Can people watch you sleep? What? Ah, see, I got to get... Excuse me. Nobody's allowed to watch me sleep. No, hold, hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just just for like break 10... The you want the, if you want the camera broken... Well, that's a $1,000 That's a thousand dollar camera, so you would owe that money. Perry, just like uh, seriously, you don't have to do anything. You just have to lay there. You just have to lay there. It's good views. I'll just leave it running and just lay there. Just don't, Goodbye. Just don't get naked. Thank you. All right. Just watch him sleep just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm actually going to not say anything. I'm just going to leave this. And number one is Washington State. Just for a little bit. No, I am not involved with this person. Why do they fucking send me their shit? I don't know. I've had this number for a long time. Lights out. No, leave the computer alone, Perry. I said lights out. Okay, well, you I'm just gonna watch you sleep. By the way, Perry, uh, just to keep you informed, uh, if someone pays fifty dollars to sound the alarm, it's good money. And then, uh, the, then I'm the fucking thing if that happens. Well, don't do that. That'd be bad. Sound the alarm. It's broken. Anyway, uh, if you're new to if you're new to the to the uh, sleep stream, uh, there's an alarm feature on the camera here. Yeah, let's, let's do this. this. No, Perry, don't do anything. Otherwise, you got to pay a thousand dollars. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, or you're paying a thousand dollars. And you're not paying your dentist Bye -bye. bill either. You're not paying your dentist bill. Leave it alone. Well, I'm not. I didn't sound anything, Perry. Leave it alone. Finish. I realize he can hear me on the computer because we left the computer on, which is not usual for this. But anyway, uh, if you uh, send in 50 bucks, I'll sound the alarm. Oh, shit. Gina Carano, get your ass over here right now. I demand you knocking on the door. You have two hours. If you're not here by 3 p.m., then meet me in the snow. Find where I am. Either Mammoth, Big Bear, and there's three ski resorts in Big Bear. Mountain High, Whitewood, you got Snow Summit, Bear Mountain, those three. Mountain High, Whitewood, Snow Summit, or Bear Mountain. Or mammoth. Find me. Bye. If you're not here within two hours, I'm gone.
back on over. She's full of shit. She's a Montana or whatever the fuck she could be. Uh, thanks for the super chat, uh, Daniel. But the alarm is fifty bucks. You'd have to put in another forty on top of that, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll let this run for a little bit, and then I'll cut it. But I, I think it might be relaxing. You know, maybe you guys out there had a long day at work, and maybe this helps people. You know, look how comfortable he is. By the way, notice the absence of any kind of belching or ow 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 notice how that just instantly stopped the second the regular stream was over it's very perry-esque all of a sudden all of his ailments are suddenly gone healed by the lord i don't know i'm not i'm not a religious man but yeah uh, Dennis says, how do we send money again? Okay, so you can send it in uh, as a super chat if that's easier for you. You could also send it in uh, through the regular tip comments. And I can't verify Perry's uh, Venmo or anything while he's sleeping. Uh, but you can send it to mine. I believe my Venmo is at G-I-N-G-E-2-2. I believe, I think that's it. And don't worry, I'll get it to Perry. I'm not going to keep it. double check. I don't use Venmo that much. I'll we'll use it for Tom's tips, I guess. Hold on. I'm going to take off this diaper. Hmm. When I get up, the diaper's coming off. Yeah, it, uh, my Venmo is at G-I-N-G-E-2-2. 50 bucks to that. 50 bucks to the tip comments. Watch me get naked. And 50 bucks to uh, YouTube. YouTube stinks, though. You know, it's funny. Uh, somebody sent in, like, that IRS comment earlier, which it was funny. Like, Stutter had done something to do with his taxes. Like, here's the thing about YouTube. His, his cousin just dealt with this because his cousin, his cousin Mark handles Perry's, uh, Perry's cousin Mark handles his taxes. And here's the shitty thing about YouTube. Like, YouTube takes, like, 35% off everything, including, like, his... He can't hear me. I don't know why he's giving me the finger. Uh, I don't know why they uh, they do this. But anyway, so 35% of all of the Super Chats. Then on top of that, you still got to pay taxes on top of everything else. So it's really, uh, it's a scam. Wow. But anyway, you're definitely not scamming. Uh, uh, uh. Here's making here's making some noises. Right, here's the sleep. This is the sleep camera. We're not gonna do a full on uh, so sorry. Twitch bits. Somebody says now we'll, we'll pass on the Twitch bits. You know we've been doing this for three and a half years. I still don't know how Twitch bits work. Maybe I should figure it out. Yeah, I agree. Uh, MSMC91. He was good today. Energy was great. You know, because normally when he's sick like this, he's just like Mr. Whispers and he's got, you know, doesn't react to anything. But uh, that wasn't the case today. So I, I, I know I saw some people say like, oh, he stinks today. I, I didn't think that at all. I think you're uh, mistaken if you think he he's, uh, stinks today. One bit is one penny. Okay. That's good to know. I don't know. I know. See, YouTube is something I use all the time in my personal life. 
uh, I don't. I've never used Twitch ever as just a user, so I don't know what that says. We'll just hang out a bit and watch Perry sleep. I got my work done for the day so I can hang just a little bit. Twitch takes their cut from the dono, not the receiver. Uh, infuse. Yes, that's true. Yeah, J Pill, you got you 100%. My exactly my question. Why in the world did Perry get a Chicago hot dog last night for dinner? I mean, he usually is pretty, con you know, sometimes he goes out for steak a lot, which is fine and all that. Um, you know, he'll go out for salad or, you know, some chicken thing or whatever. Never in my years of knowing Perry have I ever heard of him getting a Chicago style hot dog. I like hot dogs, by the way, like me personally, like I like like a hot dog now and again, you know, especially in the right setting, you know, summertime, barbecue, baseball game. But Chicago dogs are disgusting. They're atrocious. And I'm not bashing Chicago. I love Chicago. I think Chicago is a great food town. There's a lot of good Chicago. things in Chicago. Pizza and hot dogs are not that car on that list. I should tell them to get stock up on ginger ale. Yeah, I think that would be more of a stomach settler than uh, what he considers a stomach settler, which uh, I believe is, what is it, 7-Up? What's Perry's favorite fast food? According to him, it's the Carl's Jr. barbecue chicken sandwich. And I had Carl's Jr. the last time I was in uh, LA for the first time, and uh, it was quite good, I will say. Surprisingly so. I forget what I had. I had some chicken. I don't think I had barbecue chicken. I had some other chicken. Tom, why doesn't Perry get a part-time job at Baskin Robbins on his days off? Can you imagine him having a part-time job? Fury Down South have Comeback Shack. I think you'll like it. Never heard of that. I had Chick-fil-A uh, the other day only because it's like Teddy's favorite thing. He's six. And it was the first time in a long time I had it. I don't, I don't get the pickles. I don't like pickles. Like I don't like hot fast food pickles. I don't normally have a problem with pickles, but I don't like hot. So I get it without the pickle. I forgot how... Goddamn good it was! <laughs> like it was, it was amazing. Like I don't know how Chick Fil A does it, but it was amazing. 
That was my first uh, like fast food thing in quite a while. What are with those socks? Yeah, Jim just pointed out uh, the socks. Like, what is with those socks? No, I don't think I've ever had Whataburger. Thank you, D-Bag. D-Bag is the man with the uh, alarm. So this is how the alarm works. This might be a one and done here. And we could be, uh, we could be done. Tom, ever go to All American Burger in Massapequa? Yeah, Long Island? Yes, not, not any time recently. Um, but yeah, All American Burger in Massapequa on Long Island is uh, phenomenal. Yeah, really, uh, it's, it's basically like a landmark. Yeah, they're um, incredible. They're, for what I remember, they're really good. I have, it's been years and years and years since I've been there. But okay, so this is how that works. Uh, so there's an alarm here. He's going to get mad. If he rips it out of the wall, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're kind of done so. Hopefully, I can quickly talk him out of it. In fact, let me get the uh, mic on here. For when we do it, we're gonna count down together: five, four, three, two. Hey, you were paid fifty bucks for that. You were paid fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Don't turn it off. You, you. I'm not gonna do it again. Go off right now. You got paid fifty dollars. That was fifty dollars from D bag. Oh, you're a fucking asswipe. Okay, I'll only do that if you get paid. Okay, crisis averted. That is was... Gina coming over? Or is it all bullshit? Uh, would you like me to find out? Tell me now. I, I don't know. I don't bullshit, know, Perry, But you ripping out the camera out of the wall is not going to help us. I thought that might be it. That car stereo is garbage. I think I'm going to have to have a sound effect for when the alarm plays just for our, just so we can hear it. Because he hears it. We don't hear the alarm when it goes off. He hears it. Car I do when I have stereo. His, um, his speaker, like I muted his right, speakers on the computer just so he doesn't hear me talking here. It's in the trash. But um, you know what? I'll tell you what. If we get another one, I'll un I'll have to I'll unmute his speakers and you'll you'll hear it from the desktop. That's how we'll do it. Because I I put the his computer speakers on mute so he didn't have to hear me rambling. And I got to talk to uh, some. Uh, you know, stuff about our film production and stuff, so I can't stay on forever.
And if you're just tuning in, uh, we had a full stream. Uh, this is just a little bonus sleep stream. Perry wasn't feeling well, so he's laying down now. Um, so the stream's over. You can rewind it, watch the full stream. We're just kind of chilling out, watching Perry sleep. Just for a little while. We're not going to be that. We're not going to be on forever. I know I, I know I have a tendency of saying that, and then we <laughs> stay on for like four hours. You can't pipe in the computer audio. Uh, oh, shout out to Franklin Sheckler. Um, I can, but I, I don't, like if I'm rambling, I don't want, you know, I want him to relax and everything like that. I, I can, um, I can route it into the, uh, to the ring camera, but it, w it would sound kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, you'll hear, I, I've played it before. You, you'll hear what it is. Next, the next, if there, if another one comes up, I'll do it and I'll turn on his computer speaker. You'll be able to hear it. But anyway, it's not really for us to hear it. It's for Perry to hear it. Uh, Average Joe says, Tom, when Perry pooped his diaper the other day, do you think he threw that away? He did not poop his diaper. He was he, he says crazy things sometimes. You can't take anything he says seriously. He said a couple of things today. I was like, what? And I was like, oh, yeah, he's crazy. Uh, you can't take anything he says seriously. There's no way on God's green earth that he pooped his diaper the other day. Because I, I think... On the air, was it Wednesday? I think I asked him, are you pooping in your diaper? And he was like, yes, he was not pooping. He, there's no way he is going to poop in his diaper. And I don't, want, I don't want him to. That's just going a little too far. You know, it's one thing seeing, like, uh, you know, his leaking diaper when it's just uh, pee. Can you imagine if it's... I'm going to throw up just thinking about it. Uh, Tom, it's springtime. What's up with the e-bike situation? You know what? Uh, I'm looking at a bike this weekend that I found on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's a Trek bike, and uh, that might be uh, that might be the one. I'm actively pursuing uh, the bike thing now that it's spring, even though I'm a master procrastinator with that stuff. But yeah, I'm looking at one. I'm actually looking at one um, Sunday. I talked about that back. I think I don't know. Maybe in the fall that I was looking into uh, getting a bike. I used to ride bikes everywhere, and I've just been out of the habit for a long time. Tom, you're using a lot of Perry isms. God's green earth. I I say God's green earth because that's something like my great aunt would say. She would say things like that. And plus, it's like something that, you know, like an old timey person would say. So I kind of like saying old timey thing. It's kind of like a Norm Macdonald thing too. Like. A, a, one of the funniest things about Norm is he would say these things that were like, uh, you know, like he would say something like that, like, you know, nowhere on God's green earth would you find that, you know, or something like that. It just kind of accentuates the point. So, yeah, I, I've kind of always said that. <laughs> Tom has a tattoo that says biker. That's right. I do. <laughs> biker. <laughs> even though I've never, even though I haven't done it in like, 12 years when I lived in Brooklyn I, I'd be on the bike a lot not so much anymore I didn't have a car I like for Christmas sake when you say it yeah I like Chris I like for Christmas sake because I don't, I don't know when I started saying that but I like it's just I think the funny thing about saying for Christmas sake is you're just deliberately avoiding saying the word Christ even though Christ is a Christmas I don't, I don't, I don't know I like, I like that one too there's a lot of little sayings like that that I like. It's like the same thing. Like I like calling Perry Dingling and Dingbat or like Bird Brain or something like that because I, it, it would be mean if I said like you a hole, or you piece of crap. You know, even though sometimes that's what I'm thinking. Um, I, I like, I, I like dumb. I like dumbing down insults. I think they, I think it makes them funnier. Like I, like me calling him a Dingbat for not remembering things. If I constantly did that and I was saying like shithead or something like that i think it would hit wrong you know what i mean like watching the stream it, it just it, it'd be more mean-spirited and I, I try to steer away from that as much as possible perry perry demands respect yes yeah in a way he does
Craig goes into ding a ling mode often. Yes, he does. What? Oh, I'm not doing that. That's his phone. What? I'm not doing it. It's your phone. He used to tell him to act like a gentleman. Yeah, I still do on occasion. He's never going to do that. Oh, I should say this. This I meant to say this on the stream, um, but hopefully over the weekend, hopefully by Monday, there's going to be a website where if you guys want to be a part of the upcoming movie um, that's shooting at the end of May. What? It's not me, dude. It's your phone. God damn it. That's not me, Perry. Your phone's going off. That's not me. But anyway, uh, there'll be a, a thing to bid on. Like if you want to be in the movie, there could be a featured extra. There is a thing where you can get killed by Perry. percent off selected Samsung phones to $415. Current plan, junk bail. Uh, there's a lot of couple, there's a bunch of things on there. And you don't even have to travel to be a part of it. Uh, so we'll have a list of things. <sighs> I would say get in on them fast because some of them have very limited Gina spots. doesn't show up. She's got until 3 o'clock. All right, you hear that, Gina? Must be nice to be laying in bed on your phone on a, a 2 o'clock on a, on a work day. Garbage. Someone says, I didn't realize the movie was real. Yeah, no, the movie's very real. The movie's very real. Yeah, we're going to be there uh, pretty much a month from now. We're going to be getting ready to get rolling and everything. But uh, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of opportunities. If you guys want to make block out time, it's going to be basically a month from now for about two weeks possibly longer but anyway if you come in it'll just be like for a day or something like that but you can do a set visit you can um one of the cool things is uh even if you just want to have your face on a wanted poster that'll be featured in the movie you know like you're wanted and then you can you know write out what your crimes were and it'll be it'll be featured you could also have the prop when we're done uh, there's a lot of little things that you can um, bid on. It's just to, to raise some money for the movie, um, so that'll be uh, that'll be active soon, and uh, I'll announce that as soon as it is. Tom, Tom, will you be in the movie as well? Um, I don't know. I might be. Like, maybe like a background or something. I'll definitely be there, but uh, oh, the shirt. I'm more behind. I'm more like producer. Capacity. Uh, very possible. I'm very possible. There's gonna be a nice wardrobe thing. 
you know, uh, wardrobe department has a lot of uh, Wild West gear and stuff like that. But it would be cool if some people can uh, make their way down there and, you know, we'll make it worth your while. I'm trying, and I'm also, I'm going to try to, uh, if you're coming down to the film set, if like you bid on something and you're in the movie, uh, I'm going to get some uh, hotel rooms blocked out for you. So you won't have to worry. You won't have to worry about booking your accommodations. That'll be included. Uh, but you do have to worry about getting yourself there. Like, you know, if you have to fly there or drive there, you just got to get there. And then uh, we'll, we'll do our best to get your accommodations covered. But it should be fun. Where is it? It's in Ohio. Yeah, I know where in Ohio. I'm not going to give away the exact location, but uh, it's it's basically middle of nowhere, Ohio. So you have to get yourself into like Cincinnati or Columbus and work your way from there. Are we planning on having an Alec Baldwin accident on set? Uh, I hope not. I think um, I think we're having a guy be the armorer, so we should be good. Why Ohio? Well, that's where the production is because they uh, they found some space to uh, shoot on, and um, that that's where it is. Things are being built and everything. It should be interesting. I mean, you film in New York or California, you just you forget about your budget. Your budget goes through the roof. I'm glad this microphone isn't picking up whatever he's doing in there. Jake, Jake Husband. Oh, I haven't seen I haven't seen Jake in uh, in quite a minute. Tom B is awesome. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate that. How much do you think Boeing paid the hitman to ace that whistleblower? I don't know, man. That's a weird story. You know, I try not to get into conspiracy theories, but boy. Uh, can I, which Ohio quarter of o Ohio? Um, oh, I think it's south. I think it's southwest. Um, but don't hold me to that. Again, I don't. I've never, I've never been to Ohio. It's one of the few states I've never been to. I've been to a lot of states. I've never never been to Ohio. And why not LA? Well, what I said earlier is, um, it's just crazy expensive to shoot in LA, especially if you're building sets. You know, I'm just going to switch out of here just in case he's naked. Just in case. Tom B is better than Kevin B. <laughs> no, we're not related. We both uh, perform different functions. Okay, he's not naked. <laughs> he 
it would be funny if you switched and his penis was right on the PC screen. I know that would serve me right. I would have to end immediately and delete the video. It's funny. I don't really care about um, Twitch or anything like that. You know what their rules are, but YouTube is pretty. You know, as long as you don't have strong uh, right wing political opinions, you can pretty much do whatever you want on on YouTube. But I think they would draw the line at straight up nudity. Even then, if, I think if you get to it quick enough, because I've seen some people like they have accidental nudity pop up on the, on the stream. And I think if you like just if you're fast acting, you take the stream down and, uh, you know, you edit it out. Obviously, I don't think there's an issue. <sighs> Caitlin Jenner says, I regret deleting Facebook specifically because I lost your contact. My contact? Uh, if you need to get a hold of me for any reason, PCL related, uh, Perry Caravella Live at gmail.com. Perry Caravella Live at gmail.com. And I'll answer all of your concerns and questions. More than happy to. <laughs> Can we divert his flight to the Ukraine and tell him it's a war movie? He keeps like. He keeps panicking about the movie, like, am I really working with a gay guy? Am I really, is this movie going to be this and that? Are they really going to remove my tattoo? You know, like. Uh, Tom, have you had to edit out Perry's nudity in the past? Or have you managed to avoid it? No, never on, never on Perry Caravello Live. I've had to edit out his nudity on, like. There was the Patreon video where Tony Hawk uh, gave Perry uh, wax waxing, uh, and he was butt naked, and I did have to like, um, uh, like blur it out and stuff. But I'm used to seeing Perry's like, on here. No, I I've been monitoring when we do this kind of thing, like a sleep stream or like when it's at the end of the stream and he's like going, it's, and I switch cameras or something like that. And that's only a recent thing. That's only in the past few months. I have seen like little like oh I could see he's like it's I don't see anything clearly but I could see he's definitely naked so I don't go to that camera but no I haven't had that problem here thankfully knock on wood Has Perry ever kissed me I got a kiss on the cheek from him once. In an Italian manly way. How did I meet Perry? Uh, long story. Actually involves uh, Kevin Brothers' brother, Neil Brennan. Perry got me confused with Neil Brennan and things went from there. I've told it before. It's a long thing. Uh, Jonas, Tom, real talk. Is it a good idea as a viewer to begin making a full-time move to YouTube to be sure of all PCL output. Well, I got news to you. We've been pretty much a YouTube stream for the past year and a half, at least. There's only, there's very few people that are still committed to watching on Twitch for the reasons I said earlier. Um, Cause Twitch just doesn't push out streamers that are on a smaller level uh, the way they used to. And, and uh, there's other reasons too. But like even right now, there's 105 people watching this, you know, and, and obviously the stream is over and we're just watching people sleep. But compare that to 545 on, on YouTube. It's not even a contest. And we're not getting rid of Twitch. We're keeping it. And we're still using it on certain days and maybe there's certain exclusive things. I would love to see, I would love to see people, you know, fix Twitch. The people in charge, like, you know, I mean, there's so many, and I've, again, I've done a deep dive on this. This isn't just me talking out of my ass. Like, oh, Tom, you're making a terrible decision, or Tom doesn't know what he's doing. This this is a long time coming. Honestly, this should have happened a long time ago. Um, but I I don't have anything against Twitch, despite all their BS that, you know, that, that's happened with us with, like, fake suspensions and everything like that. But, um. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, we'll, keep, we'll keep Twitch around, so, you know, keep your subscriptions. I'm still going to do, like, 
I've always promised new emojis and stuff on Twitch. That's not going to change. I'm still going to do that. <coughs> but yeah, okay, give me, you know, for, for the people on Twitch that are like, oh, this is a bad idea. What's your counter to everything that I said? What is your counter argument? What, you know, aside from you personally liking to have PCL on Twitch, what is the counter? Like, what is your, give me a defense of Twitch. Seriously, give me a defense to keep it on Twitch for every stream and YouTube. You know, for me personally, we're going to launch, you know, YouTube memberships and thing. I don't want to diversify the audience by having it split across the, even if, even though it's a few hundred, um, I think it makes more sense to have it on one platform. And then, you know, and look, YouTube may change their rules in a year or two, three years. And say, oh, we can't have uh, guys with no shirt on anymore, and uh, you know you're 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 going to be kicked off YouTube. Okay, then we we'll go somewhere else. You know, the end game might be just streaming on Perry Curville Live, like the website. <laughs> you know, it, who knows? Who knows what the future holds? But for right now, it just seems like Twitch is tumbleweed city. Uh, Chase says, I want to watch the video from Patreon where Perry reacts to getting the BG, BJ on stage, but the video says unavailable. Any fix? Yeah, Chase. So you know, Patreon kind of switched up how they do video. And um, a lot of the older videos were uploaded via Vimeo, which is a different service. So I've been manually re-uploading all those videos, and I'll get to that one eventually. It's very tedious. Um, like I had to go through all of his old comedy Pyrrhic Resurrections and upload them like the new way because Patreon basically updated their video service to the point where they now offer native video uh, on the platform. So a lot of the older videos that weren't uploaded that way because they just didn't have the service available, they, when you go to play them now, it says unavailable. But I, I'm, I'm slowly working on it. It just takes a lot of time. I usually do that on a weekend where I'll sit in front of the computer on a Saturday and I'll just like go through old videos and re-upload them. I've done them for a lot. Like the waxing video is one I did recently and all of the old Comedy Pyrrhic Resurrections. I will get to them all in time and I'm sorry for the inconvenience. And thank you for uh, being a Patreon supporter. That definitely uh, helps me out. Daily Wheel. Tom, what was the ending supposed to be on the Big Three podcast that you and Mole wrote before Don changed it to his ending? Oh, wait, I talked about that a while ago. You're talking about the whole uh, Slugworth thing. Um, I don't want to get into the weeds of that, but uh, basically, uh, I think Slugworth had kidnapped me and was holding me uh, ransom with John or some, something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head. But then obviously it was changed. But I, I think I talked about that on an after hours a, a long time ago. I just hate YouTube chat is terrible. I agree with you. YouTube chat is terrible. I don't mean the chatters. I mean just the temp, just the the software of YouTube chat is not as good. Like why can't you just click on somebody's name and reply to it? Why do you got to at people on YouTube? I find that really annoying, and they they should fix that. Um, I agree with you. It is. It's better. There's things that are better on watching on YouTube versus Twitch and vice versa. And the chat is definitely, uh, Twitch has that hands down. It's better. Uh, MSMC says, Tom, you're not the first creator to expose Twitch dumb management. Yeah, I know. Look, type in Twitch is dying on YouTube. You're going to get a ton of content creators, you know, talking about the same stuff that I am. They just, not only they offered less support, and pushing, but they also take more uh, revenue. So even if they do insert their like dopey ads or whatever, Twitch is the only platform that takes a whopping 50% from that. And then still, whatever you get left, you still have to pay taxes on that. Like Perry's not lying, like Perry, I think Perry said earlier about his, his tax bill was enormous. Perry's alone this year. Uh, and it kind of sucks because like in my mind, like even like super chats or something like that, like that's a tip. Like you're getting tipped to, to do something. And then YouTube takes out their enormous 35% and then he's got to pay taxes on top of that. I think it's, I think that's kind of ridiculous, but that's just the way it is. But Twitch is worse because Twitch takes 50% of everything. It's, it's insane. Yeah, Logan says Twitch died when they did the 50-50 split from, and they were 70-30 before, which was more reasonable. 
So there's a lot of behind the scenes element. You know, it, I, I understand if you're a user of Twitch and you enjoy the experience of Twitch, especially since PCL was born out of Twitch. I get it. But, um, yeah. Somebody says YouTube has bad emotes. Well, I think when we do the memberships, we'll have exclusive like emotes and things like that. Can't defend Twitch, Tom. You're hundred percent right. Yeah, and I'm not saying it to be a dick because a lot of people like sent me like real nasty emails and stuff saying, "You're an idiot. You don't know what you're doing." There was somebody. There was one guy. I'm assuming it's a guy, because you know it's like ninety five percent of our audience is males. But it was like one guy sent in a thing, an email to me saying, "I will never move to YouTube. You're an idiot if you think you're going to get more views on YouTube than Twitch." Twitch is where PCO resides, and that's always going to be the case. And this guy, I think, has been living in a cave because clearly doesn't look at YouTube at all, ever. Hates, like, had a thing against Google. Hates Google. And he just gave me, you know, he's like, I'm never going to... First of all, I know damn well you're going to go over to YouTube. Who are we kidding here? But uh, really, like, like has never... Like, he, I understand, like, being in a Twitch bubble, but you've never checked out the views on, on YouTube because... We're usually well over a thousand live views on like a Monday night, Friday night, even more, you know, sometimes 1200 plus and Twitch is still like 150, you know, something like that. So, I mean, somebody's making the argument to me that Twitch gets more views and hasn't even checked out YouTube, doesn't know what they're talking about because we don't talk, we don't really talk about it. We don't have a view, we used to have view counters on, but you know, we moved past that. Thoughts on kick? Kick is fine, but like I said, kick is a um, kick is kick is owned by a gambling company, and kick is just a front for the gambling company. Uh, so, kick exists to you know make them money. Kick is okay. I would I would use kick uh, for like gaming and stuff like that. And we have a Rumble channel too that I would use maybe once in a while. But, you know, Rumble is like the island of lost toys. That's where people go to who can't go anywhere else. Nobody's going to Rumble because they just want to make, uh, you know, mump Rumble great. They go to Rumble because they're deplatformed elsewhere. And maybe that'll be us one day. Who knows? But uh, it's stupid to just say, oh, let's, let's go to Rumble so we can hear Perry say the F word. We have all we we have channels on all those platforms, and there might be a time where hey let's do the, let's let's do an exclusive stream here. I think as a content creator you have to have backups because you can't trust any of these companies. You know people get annoyed at me when I try to rein in Perry's language here and there. I hate when he says the c the c word you know the see you next Tuesday word because YouTube hates it. They immediately flag the stream uh, for like you know sometimes they'll age restrict it. They hear that word that there's, that that word is very sensitive to that word. I'm not. I, I don't care, but uh, you got to go by the sensibilities of the platforms that you're on. Jonas says, I love Twitch as a marketplace for staggering between wild things to watch, but yeah, I get it. Christ it's not like you have Son of a bitch. Sub changes on this site too. Ugh. Yeah, Ouch. I get it. Let's see what's going on here. If you're tuning in now, the stream's over. We, we're just uh, we're just hanging out, watching Perry sleep for a little while, and I got to keep my eye on the clock. I can't stay here forever. Tommy, why don't you start a business with a Twitch alternative called Spasm? You know, I feel like there's a missed opportunity out there for somebody with money and big investments to create a platform that combines all the elements of YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, and even OnlyFans have an adult section and, you know, be this great. And then also combine like alert systems from like stream elements where you can send in tip comments and things like that and just have it all in one and not outsource to anybody else. And uh, it would take a long time and you'd have to, you know, you'd have to have a huge infrastructure, but I think it would be a win. Even for like alert systems, you know, alone. 
Yeah, that'd be great. Tom, I'd be, are you a pro stock trader? Uh, no, no. But part of part of what I've done on a side thing ha does have a little something to do with the stock market, but not a trader. Max that says, hey, Game Boy Tom, you can sit on my lap for Christmas. Thank you. It's always what a... It's a Christmas miracle, just what I wanted. I think if you use YouTube music, you can listen to audio only. Yeah, that's true. YouTube music stinks though. Rumble is the future, somebody says. Uh, defend that, how is Rumble the future? Nobody goes there. No, nobody's going there looking for new content. You're only going to Rumble if you're looking for a specific creator that you know is on Rumble. But I know for most people, you can go on YouTube and just, hey, what's on YouTube today? And maybe Perry will pop up, and maybe he won't. Maybe somebody else will pop up that you watch. You're not getting that on Rumble. Plus, all these things like Rumble, Twitch, Kick, they're not installed on like phones. That you like, you get a phone, you get a tablet. What's pre-installed on it? YouTube. What's not installed? Everything else. What about the Twitch Prime subs? Well, nothing changes with the subs. You know, again, the Twitch channel is not going anywhere. We're still going. We're still going to use it. It's just not going to be every stream simulcasting. That's it. it, it you know, it sounds it, it sounds like I'm taking, you know, I'm, I'm closing down Twitter Twitch. I'm not. We're just not multi-streaming every stream from it. And there's going to be maybe some Twitch exclusives, especially if they get their act together, which I would love to see. No DMs on YouTube. Yeah, back in the day when I had my own YouTube channel, they did have DMs, and I think that's a mistake. They should have DMs on YouTube. That's um, that's another win in the Twitch column that you can like DM somebody, because every now and again somebody will DM like the PCL channel with like a tip or something like that. You're like, oh hey, you know, I, I sent this in by mistake, but can you correct this or whatever and send a link to something and, and it's very helpful and, and YouTube doesn't have that. Obviously there's other ways of getting in touch with people, but you're right. It's another check in the plus column for YouTube. Unplug. No, don't unplug it. No, 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 no. Bye bye. No, Perry, do that and you don't get paid. Leave it alone. I'm not bothering you. Leave it alone. <gasps> Meaning you don't meaning you don't get paid if you get a twenty five dollar alert. You get paid for the stream, obviously. Is she coming over at all or no? Well, let's wait and see, Perry. The, you know, I'll, I'll see. We you put the word out. We'll see if uh, yeah, right. We'll see what happens. Are you feeling better? You sound thirty a lot minutes to be here. All something bad. Are you feeling better? No. Oh, of course. I love how he thinks he could just manhandle PCL equipment like that. I haven't felt this bad in years. I don't know why. Uh, can I can I ask you a question? I don't know what was in that hot dog that fucked me up. Right. Last why night. would you get a why would you get a Chicago dog? What made you order that? I I didn't I didn't I, I don't know to tell you the truth I didn't I didn't know why I got well I I thought I was just getting a regular hot dog I didn't why you you go you went to a Chicago place and the menu says Chicago dog what made you think you were getting a regular hot dog and who orders a hot dog in a restaurant that's like something from the kids menu four year old orders a hot dog off a menu. You don't go to a restaurant to order a hot dog. You get you get a hot dog at like a barbecue or a game or like a dedicated hot dog stand. You don't go to a sit-down restaurant and order a hot dog on a plate. They must have thought you were crazy. Wow, somebody actually ordered the hot dog and it was an adult. I don't know. I don't know why I ordered a hot dog at the, at the Chino's East. Oh god. The 
ever again. A grown man should not go into a restaurant and sit down at a table huh? where there's waiter service and order a hot dog. Salad was good. The dog killed me. The dog, the dog wrecked you. Like, like you're still feeling it. Yeah, because of the mustard, the relish, poison, poison. Right. Everything you hate. Why would you order it? I didn't. I didn't expect all that crap on it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I thought I was getting a, a quarter pound hot dog with with with, with ketchup. But no. Why don't you just go to if you want a if you want a hot dog like that, go to go to Costco for a dollar fifty. Exactly. And get a drink. Exactly. <sighs> do what I normally do. Go to Costco. It's save money rather than throw away money <laughs> we mean save money it's more money I, I get it once in a while you're in the mood for a hot dog but there's places to go to especially in your area there's like hot dog joints there's a hot dog place right down the like like a block and a half away from you uh, I forget the name of it Some rice. Uh, somebody says, Tom, why don't you put a parental control on his computer so we can't put viruses on the computer? You know, how many respect, uh, restrictions can I have on the guy? It gets exhausting, and you know what? I don't want to be that draconian where, you know, he has to have some freedom. I mean, you already have, like, you know, he has, like, a credit limit on his credit card so he doesn't, like, you know, do something insane and, like, you know, ring up a, you know, big credit card bill, even though he doesn't have a huge um, limit on there anyway. But, you know, there's only so many things, you know, and, and I don't have all the time in the world to monitor. Because then, cause then what, what's going to happen there is he's going to call me every time he wants to do something on the computer. And I, I, you know, I only have so much time, you know. I mean, I get annoyed enough as it is. You know, because I'd, I'd have to clone, I'd have to clone another me to handle that. Tom, you're crazy talking about kick and rumble. What, what do you mean I'm crazy? Like I'm wrong or I'm crazy just talking about them at all? I don't know what that. I don't know. What you're that staring at me like a like a a, a, a rapist or a or a, or a, a child molester. Why would you uh, think you look like CFG. a child molester? Yes, you are. Would I'm a child like molester. A child molester. Me. You and every other fan that wants to stare at me in my sleep. Well, you're not a child. Uh, also, let me, let me just... I, I think one of the most interesting things about you is the fact that you don't know what makes you entertaining to people. There's over... There's, I, I'm going to combine numbers here between Twitch and YouTube. There's over 700 people watching you now just laying down. Okay? And there's plenty of other serious? things to Are you serious? I'm serious. And it's... That is sickening. No, you should be flattered. 700 people are staring at me, laying down. Yeah, and think of all the other... We, we live in a day and age where there's tons of content. Anybody can watch whatever they want at That's any moment. Sick. And they're choosing to watch this. You should be flattered. Think of all the options. On the East Coast here, It's we're getting into the early evening. It's 5.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the middle of the afternoon still on the West Coast. It's late night in England or... Europe, it's Saturday afternoon in Australia, and out of all the options that these 700 plus people have right now, they're choosing to watch you lay in your bed and say nothing. Pretty good, if you say, if, if you ask me. Pretty good. I want one answer and one answer only, please. Is she or is she not showing up? I have if she's no... not showing up, that car stereo is in the trash. Okay, well, what what time limit did you give the
the car stereo. Huh? What car? What time limit did you um, give on that? I said by three o'clock. By three o'clock. Okay, so she's got a half hour left. So let's give it a half hour. And if and and you know, if in half hour you can walk out to the trash with it. Son of a bitch! Oh, I gotta pee again. This is crazy. Ugh. God, I hate this fucking problem. Cameron Diaz. Hey, Cameron. Uh, you ready for the Bitcoin having in two hours? I'm not a Bitcoin guy. I never was. And maybe to my detriment, I just, uh, I never was that much of a risk taker to get into uh, Bitcoin. I know people, I have friends that did very well with Bitcoin, still do. Not, not me. I'm very conservative with that uh, stuff. Bob Dylan says, Tom, have you thought about mentoring people? You seem pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, I can mentor people on like, you know, uh, the bullshit, bullshit, like pop culture knowledge I have. Like, let me tell you about uh, TV series of the uh, 70s that you may not be aware of. Uh, but you, you know, it's funny. Uh, I, I mentioned building credit on a previous After Hours, and I did get, I did get a bunch of people emailing me um, asking for help and there's out of the people that actually genuinely asked me uh two have kind of hung around and i have been working with them you know not that i, I don't do it professionally at all but just giving them tips and because it's a patience game like you know they have like really lousy credit and building it up to you know a respectable score so i've enjoyed kind of working with them you know not working but just like going back and forth and tips and things like that and uh seeing where they are that's been actually very uh, rewarding so out of the i'd say off the top of my head i think eight people emailed me that one stream we were talking about it and then um two actually took it seriously and are actively working on it and that's that's kind of that's kind of nice even though you know i'm not i'm not an expert or anything like that but that that's been kind of it's been kind of cool Found the shit I lost. Mark Mazzi says all food deliveries on uh, Monday. Oh. Hey Perry. Lost five pounds in shit. <laughs> you lost five pounds in poo? Yep. Uh, Mark Mazzi wants to send you Chicago hot dogs on the stream on Monday. Not allowed. No more food is allowed here. No food is allowed to be sent to me tonight. I expect Gina Carano here. If she's not here in 30 minutes, I'm I'm going to be. All right. Well, I'm running the official here. PCL timer. We'll see. Huh? I'm running the official PCL timer. We'll see if she makes the cut. Oh, somebody wanted to know, did Gino Z's cook their hot dogs in sausage grease? Is that why you got sick? Off. Ass wipe. No need to get nasty, Perry. Uh, MSMC says, "Hey, Tom B, thanks for chilling after. It really makes crazy work week a more relaxed note." Uh, no, you know what? Thank you because the reason I hang out is because it makes a more relaxing uh, end of the week for me too. You know, I like. I have different ways of how to detox oh, from getting PCL. Dizzy. And uh, hanging out with you guys stop it. is one of them. Debeck says, I enjoy after hours, less traffic. I can actually read the comments. Yeah, it, that I enjoy it too because I don't read the, I really don't read the comments during the stream. If I see something, it's kind of by accident because obviously my attention is elsewhere. So it is kind of cool to like connect with uh, people after. 
Caitlin says, I'm only here for Tom B. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Ten thirty PM in England. Shout out to England. I think it's the third biggest PCL market. Honey, Aaron says, I can't, you can't talk sense to him. I know. And that makes me crazy too, because I've said many times when I try to talk logic to Perry, I'm kind of the crazy one because he's, it's never, even if it goes in the ear, it absorbs for like a couple of minutes. It's going to, it's going to ooze out the other side real quick. And I'm just wasting my breath. Uh, Kirkland, Tom. My nephew wants to become a producer. Are we accepting any intern applications? Absolutely. I'd love to have some PCL interns. Especially like in-person interns, like, a, like an assistant to Perry. I don't think even Tom knows why people watch PCL. You know what, Bob Dylan, you might be right because there are times where I think PCL was horrible like wow that stream stunk like man I and I feel really down about it like wow I don't even you know and then people met like there's a handful of people that like message me or whatever like after a stream or like the day after or like on Patreon or whatever and like wow that was great last night like, wow that was so like they enjoyed it and I'm like well, clearly I don't know what's what's good about this because I don't get it if I was a viewer, I would I would hate this thing and I would like not want to see it for a while. So yeah, no, you're right. I, I sometimes I don't get it. And then the other times. So is she coming over, or am I being stupid to stick around here? <laughs> other times, the reverse is true. So she like staring at me while I'm laying she down. She might be watching right now, for all I know, Perry. I don't know. She's watching me right now. She Are you very shitting well could me? Be one of the seven hundred. I'm not saying she's watching you right now. I don't know, but there's over seven hundred people. She could be one of them. Christ. This feeling, ugh. Uh. Uh. Caitlin Jenner says, "Tom B, you advised me to stop dating a chick a few years back. Best advice of so my life." Poop went to diarrhea. Went to water diarrhea. Went to freaking more water diarrhea. I don't remember that, Caitlin. You have to remind me of what what the details were. But if I gave you good advice, I'm glad it worked out. Scared to eat anything today now. Uh, S. Baldwin, Tom B., you talked about vacuums earlier. Do you have any suggestions? Yes. Dyson. Buy it. Dyson is very expensive. Uh, I think they're based in Europe. Uh, but you can get them at Best Buy, whatever. Dyson, the reason I like Dyson is it's cordless. I like a cordless vacuum. Uh, I don't have to plug it in. It's just like I basically have it hanging up in the closet. When I need to use it in the kitchen, I just take it out. Back it up. They're a little more expensive, but they're worth it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot like Perry in many different ways, more ways than I'd care to admit. But one of them is brand loyalty, and uh, I did my deep dive research when I became a home, homeowner. And I wanted like a yes, dedicated yes. vacuum. It's Dyson or nothing. There's also Dyson ripoffs. I would stay away from those. Just get a Dyson and call it a day. There's a lot of different models to work with. Uh, Bob Dylan, Tom B, you're crazy, bro. Tell us more about AMC stock. Well, I'll tell you what, I did well on AMC stock. That was back in 2021. But typical me, um, I, you know, that was one of those things like around the time of that GameStop thing with the stock market. And I wasn't really in the stock market at the time. 
but I did invest in AMC and it skyrocketed up. It actually happened on the first Tom B week show. It was a Wednesday. I believe it was a Wednesday and the stock like went up to its peak and I got out and I think I, I think I cashed out. Oof. I want to say five grand. I think I made five grand profit on AMC. And in typical fashion, I spent it. You know, I earned and burned it. I uh, yeah. I bought a I bought a deluxe barbecue. This, there was this barbecue that I really wanted. Thirty five hundred dollars that I would normally never be able to afford, and uh, I used my stock profits to get that barbecue. And you know what? No regrets because it's an awesome barbecue. Call me crazy, but Tommy doesn't seem to be working very hard to get Gina there. Well, it's true. I'm not his personal assistant. So, you're right. I'm not. When's the next gaming stream? Probably the next Wednesday after this coming Wednesday. Because this coming Wednesday is Bob and Perry. And then maybe the one after that. Uh, Tanner's, did I enjoy WrestleMania 40? Um, I'll tell you what. It was the first WrestleMania that I watched live in over 20 years. And I did. I tuned in and out. I only really cared about the main events both nights. I only cared about the, uh, you know, Rock and Cody and you know Seth and Roman Reigns, and then uh, obviously Roman and Seth for the main event. I checked in and out. You know, I I, I didn't sit through the whole thing, but uh, I thought it was uh, night. I, I was always against. I thought. I thought when I heard about WrestleMania going to two nights, I thought it was stupid. But this is a year it really worked because it. Like night two felt like a sequel to night one, and uh, it really did feel like uh, kind of a renaissance area uh, era to the point where I, I don't watch wrestling, modern wrestling, but I'm interested enough to, to dip my toe in and, and check up on it and like fast forward through things to get it. I thought the main event um, with Cody Rhodes and um, Roman Reigns was one of the best WrestleMania main events I've ever seen, um, and that that's saying a lot. But it, but having said that, it was about watching it live. If I saw it on replay the next day after knowing the results, I don't think I'd be that. In, I don't think I'd care very much. It was all about watching it live. Big Papa Long says PCL is never horrible. Me and the gang rewatch and watch everything. Thank you for saying that. I think once in a while PCL can be horrible, but. You know, the, the beautiful thing is there'll be a show. The next show will bounce back. You know, if it, it's usually on, it's usually on Perry's shoulders, unfortunately. Like he could have been a honestly to give Perry his due, he could have been a complete nightmare today. Like he's if he's legit not feeling well. You know, I mean, I I'll, I'll get his goat a little bit by saying he's faking, but I, I think he he legit has stomach issues. Obviously, he took four dumps on the stream, and he could have really like mailed it in and got all like quiet. But he he. You know, not that he's trying to be a, a a good, you know, host or whatever, but I thought he was. He, I thought he was good. You know, as far as his energy goes and everything like that. I said that earlier, so this isn't an example. But there's been other times where I just thought like, ugh. You know, well, what do I know? Is that video of Perry's screen door on Patreon where the Twitch brother broke his door? Yes, yes, it is. I think that was two years ago now. Something like that. What time is it for Perry? It's three hours behind here. So here it's 5.50. So it's 10 minutes to three. Gina's got 10 minutes left to get over there. Amanda Williams says, I'm not sure why, but I really like it here at PCL. You crazy MFers. Thank you. We really like it here, too. Who's outside? Who's outside? I don't see anybody. Hold on. Let me check, let me check real quick. I wish there was a better way to switch cameras. Uh, it's your maintenance guy working across the hall. They're, uh, I'll show the stream. Just yeah, you know, little uh, you know, they do all this work. That, that guy's been out there a long time. Why can't they fix that? Like those three strips of tape 
that are like used to fix cracks in the in the hall. Yeah, just the maintenance guy. Your uh, your maintenance fees at work right now. So, so, so who's the lazy guy in bed? That would be Perry. Of Perry Kerrville Alive fame. Jake Huston says, Tom Brennan is the best in the world in what he does, and that's not an opinion. That's just a fact. Uh, I'm trying to get on my good side, Jake. Jake, did, no offense, but didn't, didn't you, like, a while ago, like tell Perry to go F himself and you were like kind of going off on Perry and cause I remember Perry saying he blocked you on something and you were telling him that he was a piece of shit or something like that or, or, or she's coming or she's just gonna fuck me over hey Tom how many celebrity women have expressed their romantic interest in you and what are their names please um, I don't kiss and tell Dave keep that very private I got one in every city, basically. That's why I travel so much. Uh, I suppose it's, Tom, I bought a Dyson V11, Pat, and it stopped working within three months. I spent six months fighting with them and they finally replaced it. Uh, that's unusual. I don't know, like, is, is the V11 pet, is that a specific model, like for pet hairs and stuff like that? That's an anomaly. I, I've had very, uh, I had a, I actually might have to go to their warranty service just because something happened where I was cleaning out this area that was like kind of like under my staircase. Basically, my stairs broke. Like this, this house, it's, there's always something going on. Like part of the stairs broke. I had to get underneath the crawl space and vacuum out a bunch of stuff and it clogged up the thing. Anyway, long story short, the assembly kind of busted and I did figure out how to fix it, but I don't, I think I do got to get in touch with them about a replacement thing, a majig. Uh, and I did look up to say that they can be a pain in the ass with honoring uh, things like that. But I'm still going to stand by Dyson. They're, they're the best. Okay, oh, Richard, you were at WrestleMania? Night one or night two? How was it? Somebody says, Magic. how about TKO stock? It's funny you should say that. I was actually looking at TKO stock. I, I, I would say TKO stock's probably a good buy. I do think WWE is going to be going into a renaissance era, era where they're going to get in, you know, because there's, and I'm not the only one who says this. I know a lot of friends of mine who we, we all like, you know, we loved wrestling in the eighties and, you know, it was like a big thing. And you know, I dipped my toe in it over the years throughout the nineties, early two thousands. And then there, there was just a point where I just checked out. But uh, that whole thing of like that whole storyline of like rock coming in wanting to be the main eventer at WrestleMania, getting booed and the whole We Want Cody stuff. It was kind of like a real... I mean, for people that don't know what I'm talking about, I apologize. But, like, that whole thing kind of got me invested and wanting to watch it. And um, if you can get me back to watching, like, a lot... I haven't watched a live wrestling pay-per-view maybe since 2004. So... Cool. Tom, did you hear a man set himself on fire outside at Trump trial? Uh, no, I didn't hear that. I was doing the stream. No, I didn't hear that. That's uh, <laughs> sounds like a weird protest. Kelly Bell says, last couple of streams have been above average. I find that with PCL is like there's like a block of streams that are really, really good. And then maybe there's like a little lull. It's like the stock market. There's like a build and there's like a lot of cool stuff going on and Perry's really engaged. And then there's like, it, it kind of goes down on the graph and then it goes up again. I, I've kind of, that, that's my opinion, which means nothing obviously because I'm on the other side of it. What would Perry be doing if he didn't have this stream? Um, That's a good question. I don't know. 
to be honest with you. I, I mean, you can get morbid about it and say that he'd, he'd be dead somewhere. You know? Um, I don't know, but he's here. Luckily. <laughs> Tommy says, let, let bacon. Just a reminder that Perry will be in the snow. Zone. You know, I think it's kind of funny how much of a baby he is where like he reads something. It could be like a super chat or like a comment or whatever. You will never be in the snow. Oh, really? I'm going to be there tomorrow and the next day. Saturday and Sunday, bitches. I'm in the snow. God, I can't do Perry. It just shreds my throat. <clears throat> but um, I I I, I kind of love that. Um, but I also I, I'm getting really annoyed by it too. Where he's like, "Snow bitches," where it's just like it's just it's such a low IQ IQ like thing that he has that he does constantly. Sorry, I gotta clear my throat. Hold on a second. Ugh. Yeah, my, I said it's earlier, but my favorite Perry thing right now. And by the way, I want to give a big, big shout out. I think it was last Friday night when we did the double header. Somebody in the YouTube chat, I believe, because I was talking about logging in Perry's computer and the fact that I use TeamViewer, and somebody in the chat said, "Hey Tom, do you do, have, why don't you just disable his mouse in TeamViewer?" And, and I've I've, tried, I've looked into disabling his mouse and other things, but it's kind of convoluted, and I forgot that that was a feature. And I went in and I did it, and now I, I do disable his mouse. And my favorite thing is when he goes to grab the mouse to try to shut his computer off, he's like, power off! And then he realizes that the mouse has no effect because I've disabled it, and it's only disabled while I'm connected to it. And then he just goes, fuck you! Fuck you! He just goes crazy, and every time he forgets, <laughs> that's like my favorite thing right now. <laughs> Uh, because he gets even angrier when he realizes he can't do it. I'll rip the power out from the wall. <laughs> like that's, I, oh my god, it's so. I don't know how long that's gonna go on for, but that is just so goddamn funny. Uh, Perry would be homeless, somebody says, if it wasn't for this. Yeah, about possible. I don't know, to be honest with you. You know, I don't I don't know, you know, uh, where he'd be or, or, you know, I don't think he'd be here. Maybe living with his cousin. Maybe, maybe I don't know. But I'm very, I'm very thankful that that didn't have to happen. And thanks to everybody that supports uh, PCO. Look at those socks from walking around his disgusting carpet. Yeah, those socks are blue. like I, I don't even think you can get those white. You saved his goofy ass, Tom B. Yeah, maybe I did. I, I did. I did. I, I definitely did. It's just, you know, um, when I was a single bachelor and, you know, things kind of went sideways with Perry. He, like, lost his disability and a bunch of other things um, happened. And I was able to kind of cover his butt for a while. I, I always thought that he would, you know, things would just naturally recover. And uh, they never did. So we kind of... <laughs> Just did our own thing and started this and you guys tuned in and it, it's uh you know so i speak on perry's behalf when i say thank you for anybody that's ever sent in a uh a tip comment super chat subscribed on either you know twitch or youtube or there it all adds up and it's it's all made a huge tremendous difference in this guy's life that's why he's able to lay down and take a little snooze at three o'clock in the afternoon uh, you should start raiding other streams when the show's over. It's a way to cross pot. You know what? I, I, I don't mind if other people raid us. I, we're not raiders. 
Yeah, I, I I tried that once or twice. It just I'm not it's just not I'm not getting into that. What does that do for us? Uh, dudes, Jules, Tommy, you are a blessing, and I commend you for all you do. For Perry, you are a great person and great friend. Uh, all the respect for you, Tommy. Uh, thank you very much for saying that. Except, you know, Perry might disagree when he says, I want you out of my life. Tom get a UPS battery when he cuts the power and it won't go off. Yeah, that's a fair point. Those, uh, yeah, they, they, they don't hold that much of a charge. Uh, but yeah, that, that's not a bad idea. How do I feel about the state of Perry's apartment? It's not me, I'm not calling. message. <sighs> Tommy host a dating game stream. Um, yeah, I would do that if we can get like actual real contestants to like that would actually go out, you know, do the date and everything like that. That reminds me that call when he like talks to the recording. Like, I used to have a home. when I first started working with Perry. His email was like atrocious. Like he had this god awful email address. It was like at KNAC, which is like some dopey radio station in LA that show, that plays like you know cheesy eighties rock or whatever. Not no offense if you're into that, it's fine. But that's not my point. My point is like he he would log in their website as his email still. And it had like no spam protection, no like, you know, one thing about Gmail is like they were really good about filtering out spam and stuff. And pretty much any decent me email at this in this day and age in 2024 is really good at filtering spam. But he would just get inundated. And when I first started working with him, I had to, uh, you know, go in, go into his email and sort things out. And what I noticed is every robotic, you know, like spam email, like even if it was like, do not respond like this. The header of the email says, "Do not respond to this email," and then it's like, "This is an automated response. Thank you for paying your, you know, your Spectrum bill, whatever, and you know, whatever. Thank you for this uh, automated response. Uh, this is the power company. Uh, the power might be off for thirty minutes at four a.m. next week. You know, this time, without fail, he always responded to it and wrote this long thing." Thank you. I appreciate you letting me know. And then you'd get another email back from that where it was like, this is an automated response. You know, please, I think, okay, thanks. And it would be like an ongoing chain of him just writing back to an auto-generated email where they're implicitly saying, do not write at this. No one's going to see it. And he would just, it, it, it was like a comedy bit. There was so many things like like that where it was just like he. It, sometimes he would just write thx, thx. Thanks. Oh, I'll stop yelling at my hall. Shut up. Shut up. Oh God. Uh, I never finished a state of. Perry's apartment. Curious if they have been put somewhere has actually been there. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's it's gross. It's it's actually not. Sometimes I go in there. It's not oh, as bad not late. as I expected it to be. But uh, yeah, I want him to get the hell out of here. That's the whole goal. I, I want him to move. Like you know, and, and 
it's very tough working with somebody like Perry who's very stubborn and stuck in their ways. Like he defiantly says, I am never moving. You know, it's like as if that's like a flex. It's like, why wouldn't you want a nicer place? Like, you, know, you know, you could say he works, you know, not so hard, but I say, you know, you work hard. You know, you have a certain say, you know, his cousin's very smart. His cousin handles his money. His cousin has him in, in, in you know, safe investments and stuff like that. He can afford a down payment on a place and, you know, get a mortgage set up. And every time we try to push him in that direction, he pushes back. So, I believe you me, you know, and I know Florida is a big joke for the stream and everything like that, but I love to get him out of this, especially after last April. That was like a mark in the sand for me when he got attacked, attacked by that like meth head lunatic who like, you know, hit him. Like, I, I just, I want him out of there so bad. And so does his cousin. So do other people that care about him. But he's, you know, you can't force somebody. You know, you can't literally pick him up and force him into another place. He'd have to see it for himself. So we got to, that's one of the main things I want to work towards. Why is he in bed? Uh, Tart, he wasn't feeling well during the stream. And then uh, kind of just went in there. Gil, you can force him. Yeah, by the way, yeah, anybody you can force, you know, Again, Perry's like his stubbornness works against him a lot of the time. I got to get going though. I got to uh, wrap up because I I do have to jump on a a Zoom call and be professional. So I'm gonna mute myself. I'll leave this running for another uh, ten minutes or so, and then I'll I'll kill it. I never have animals. Uh, thank you for the extra long stream. Are oh, you welcome, Mike? I, I, I appreciate you saying that. Some people get mad when the streams are this long because, like, they'll go to click on it and it'll say, like, oh, this stream's uh, oh, six hours. And, you know, even though the regular stream was only, like, four or whatever, and then, you know, it's just this. But I prefer, you know, I don't know. If you don't, if, if you don't like it, because I used to, I've, I'm very anti doing after hours on streams that stay on YouTube because I always cut after hours portion out of the YouTube uploads always and I'll leave it on the Patreon version or whatever but I, I, I don't consider this part of actual PCL but uh, you know lately I think with the, with this camera and like it's a sleep stream and you know what if you don't like it you could just fast forward through it or, or, or turn it off Unban me on Twitch, little man. Well, calling somebody a little man is not going to be a good way to unban you. What did, what did you do on Twitch to get banned? you got to go a long way to get banned on anything. So you got to be a real ass. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we have this thing on Twitch, right? So, like, if you do get banned or something like that, it's usually just you're just being, you know, you're trying to say a really bad word or you're trying to be racist. It, it's like you got to be DEF CON, like, level five or, or whatever. Is five, is five the bad one? Um, uh, so you gotta be really bad. You called me, you did more than that. Give me your Twitch name. I'll look it up right now. Uh, but people like appeal, like you could always appeal. Like we say, like, listen, no matter what happens, and this is like, if you get kicked out or whatever, or, you know, blocked on Twitch or whatever, just, there's always a way back. You know what? Just apologize and say, you, you're sorry or whatever. And, and you can come back. No no problem. But a lot of these people, they're just like, fuck you, assholes. Let me back. <laughs> like, that's their, that's their appeal. You guys are a bunch of pussies. All I said was that uh, Perry should join the Nazis. Wait, wait, I'm making something up. Whatever it is. Uh, you know, let me back, you shit fucks. <laughs> like, okay, let, let's bend over backwards to do that. Yeah, they take it so personally. Don't take this personally. Don't take anything personally. Like, this is just fun. We're just having fun. I'm hanging out on here because I'm having fun. No, I don't take anything personal. There's nothing personal. There's nothing you can say to me. I have a very thick skin. There's nothing you're going to say to me that's going to, like, you know. This, I've said this before, and, and this is good advice for anybody. Don't give a shit what strangers think of you or anything. The only people in your life that you should care what you, you know, you should care about their opinion are people that are actually in your life, the people that you respect and people that you love and people that respect and love you. Care about their opinion. Their opinions are what matters. 
strangers, whatever they think about you, who gives a shit? Don't let it get to you. Don't take it personally. Don't take anything personally. These people don't know you. You know, it's like Perry, it's like Perry you know, getting all worked up. You know, it's like, that. don't, you know, don't get all worked up. You know, the stream's over. The stream's over. People love you. But don't give a shit about it. Like, people get so worked up about it. Only Perry has the ability to get under Tommy's skin. He only gets under my skin once in a while when he's not performing a task that he was paid to do. That's the only time where you'll hear me get a little worked up with him because I feel it's being unfair to the people that paid for whatever the stunt is. Other than that, Gil says, you have to be a class A asshole to get banned from It's true. You have to be a class A asshole to get banned from PCL. And even then... Even then, send us an email. Send me anybody who's banned. Anybody, and by the way, everybody who gets banned, they're all still watching. That that's the one thing about PCL. Like you, you know, notice how the numbers never dip uh, on PCL. You know, if, if so many people are banned, if you're banned, send me an email, live at gmail.com. I will happily undo it. Just be a human being. I got blocked for nothing and pissed off and all is forgiven. You know what? It, it, maybe sometimes mistakes are made. Sometimes you get a, a trigger happy mod or something like that. And mistakes can be made. And yes, obviously you're still here. So it didn't get anything. I got timed out. Yeah, you're going to get timed out if you're annoying. If you're going to be spamming the chat or something like that. You, you, you know, And a timeout is basically a mod saying to you, hey, calm down. But it's very rare. But I, I, I love the person that said that they got banned on Twitch. I'd love for you to tell me what your name is on Twitch because I can look it up and see exactly uh, what's going on. But there's always a, there's always a way back. Anthony Lane, Tom B is good people. Kindly stop being rude to Tom. No one's, no one's being rude. And you know, I can, no one's being rude. It, that's one thing to think about our, our, our community. You know, some people... Sometimes people can come off as rude or like entitled and it's because they love they love this and they they, they feel like the, you know like every you know speaking of stocks like I think a lot of people in our community feel like they have a stock in PCL like an emotional event investment not an actual financial investment some some people have a financial investment because they they donate a lot or whatever but you have a, an emotional investment in it, and I can understand how emotions can go high sometimes and you can get concerned over something and you can have a very hard opinion. I am somebody who has very hard opinions about things sometimes. Um, and and I, I like to think over the years I've uh, matured a, a little bit, but sometimes I'm not. Little Roderick says, Tom is a fool. Well, you're entitled to that opinion and you're not going to be banned for that. But seriously, you know, just, just in your personal life, because I know a lot of people are tied into like, I don't do social media really, but like, I, I see people get like worked up over like, you know, insults here and there. Don't give a shit. Don't really, don't give them the power because you give these people power. Like don't, don't, don't care. Who gives a shit what people think about you? Again, only care about the people who love you, your friends, your family, maybe your coworkers to a degree. Care about what they think about you. Don't care about what strangers think about you. And that includes people in a chat that might get upset with you if you said something that they don't like. Don't take it too personally. And, and also give people a chance to reboot because maybe they were just worked up and said something that they didn't mean and whatever. They, they can walk it back. Tom B has a thankless job. And no, it's, it, it's actually not thankless. I, 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 I do enjoy if I, I If I didn't enjoy it, I, would, I wouldn't spend time on it. I do, I do enjoy it. Why is he sleeping in the middle of the day? He wasn't feeling well. That's why. I almost got banned for the whole Bobby Brown and Emily Sears thing. That was indirectly my fault. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I don't think that was ever a bad thing. It was just an annoying thing. <laughs> uh, that's going back. That's going back a good year and change. Any chance Perry will be back posting on Twitter? Yes. Very. Perry goes on Twitter and looks, but he doesn't necessarily post. But yes. The answer to that is yes.
let's be honest, Perry would be doing this anyway. You might be right. He likes his afternoon naps. Oh, shit. Again? Gil says, I annoyed the shit out of you with the updog stuff. Oh. Uh, you weren't annoyed. I thought the updog stuff was funny. I think at first I didn't get it, and I felt really stupid for not getting the updog thing. No, I didn't get mad at that at all. I, 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 I love you, Gil. I think you're great. I know... It's weird. Some people sometimes send me messages. Hey, Tom, I know you probably annoyed at me for the mailbag I sent. And I'm like, I have no animosity. And I... You know, I, I, by the way, shout out to Mailbag. I think ever since I was a little cranky about Mailbag, I uh, I think Mailbag's been pretty great. Honestly, I get it. I get annoyed when Mailbag's just like a bottle of ketchup or like a thing of mustard or like mayonnaise, one after the other, and so much time is spent on it. But mail Mailbag has actually been really good. So, you know, and now that I say that, it'll probably <laughs> it'll probably be bad again. But I, I like mailbag, and I like anybody that takes their time to contribute to, to PCL. I'm a fan of when it's uh, yeah when it's like really dull and like it's just kind of like I'm not a fan of sending Perry spam mail. I understand the allure of it, like sending him catalogs for Florida. Like you know, I get it, but it just clogs things up. Brian says, I, "Tommy, I always thought you were a great man for being in on this joke and taking care of Perry." Real talk. Thank you, Brian. Real talk. Back to you. D says, I, I sent him, uh, plan on sending a couple of canvases, but that movie shoot coming up and he probably won't get them for a while. Yeah, well, the movie shoot's only for like two weeks. I mean, you know, the stuff, the place will hold his mail. Uh, Sparrow, Tom, I live in LA. Is there any way I could participate in the show? I'm not looking for money, just want to contribute. Sure, send, again, send an email. I, I should probably have that up on the screen. Send an email to live at gmail.com. My um, Zoom meeting's been moved. Okay. I, st I still got to go, though. Let me see if I can parry. All right. My eyes are really going, by the way. It's like a real problem. <laughs> Mary Caravello live. I'm doing this looking at the screen. That's why it's not. I'm not this stupid usually. Gmail.com. And uh, we'll change that font. Yeah, contact me on this for any reason whatsoever. I might not respond right away, but I will respond. Okay, I'll respond. Very good live at Gmail. It looks very ghostly right now. Let's go. Sorry, I'm like manually adding this here and it's uh, just so people have a visual context of the email. Yeah, you think I'd be better at this after doing it for like three and a half years? There you go. FreyCurvoLive at gmail.com. I'll directly answer the email, you know. Whatever it is, if you've been banned and you and you want to be unbanned, uh, if you uh, want to help out in some way, if you want to be a part of the movie, uh, we're gonna have a website. But in the interim, you can send me an email there. Whatever, like I said, don't expect an email back like the second you send it. Sometimes it takes me, you know, a couple of days to get back, but I'll always get back to you. Hey Tom, how's Tony? Quote Will Hawkman. Haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. Seems like it's been months. Uh, he's good. I we, I talk to Tony all the time. Tony's great. Tony Tony was sending in stuff today. Tony's great, uh, and and he'll be on the stream again. Hopefully, we're trying to get him to Ohio, as well to hang out. Um, but again, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get to. And you know, like everybody else, Tony has a real job. You know, I have a real job. You know, we all do. Like I'm I'm multitasking today with my real job and this doing it at the same time. Oh, 
I'll wait till Perry gets back, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off because it's actually getting it's it's quite late here, six twenty one. Uh, Perry's in the toilet. All right, we got the email. Good, I'll turn it off. I'll tell you, I'll call him just to get him to say goodbye, and then we'll uh, we'll sign off. I really hope everybody has a great weekend. Have a great Friday night, and we'll see you back here 5 p.m. Pacific on Monday. No, it didn't take it with him. Jake, you did a song for Perry Sunday. He must be in a real session in there. I'll wait till he comes back out and then we'll, we'll legit say goodbye. And I'm not saying that in my usual way of saying that where I start wrapping up and then we do another hour. <laughs> I, I do. I really do have to go because I have to uh, I have to eat dinner and I have to do this Zoom meeting. Uh, love the Weather Matters music. Me too. Straight up love. I've played the Weather Matters music like on my own, like just to relax, like when we're not on the stream. Harry, where are you, bro? They're pulling an Elvis Presley in there or something. Hold on, let me see something. Uh, the door is closed. To the, uh, so there's, there's definitely some heavy session going on in there. We man of my word, I'm going to wait till he comes back. Good Lord, Perry! What kind of poop was that? That was like a record-breaking poop. Can you hear me? Hold on, let me turn your uh, speakers on. Perry, can you hear me? Huh? Huh? Can you hear me? I do now since I don't like bathroom door. Oh. 
Uh, do me a favor. Just I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end. This, I'm gonna turn this off. Can you just go back to the main computer for like one second? And we'll talk about the Gina car radio thing. Just one second. You go back to the main screen. Just one, and then I am gonna end it because I have to go. Jesus. Thank you, pumpkin. You seem to be in there for a long time. What kind of poop was that? Oh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry, you. I, I like I said again. Uh, what kind of poop was that? Because you seem to be. Don't worry right about now. it. Gross. Just plain gross. Okay. Uh, are we off ordering Chicago hot dogs? Well, what, say this again about Chicago hot dogs. Are we off ordering them? Is that now on the banned list? Not allowed. Well, no. no, no what's banned is my me being sick. Got nothing to do with Chicago hot dogs. It's, but the the problem with what I ate yesterday was I'm not feeling good, and I'm and I'm just I mean I'm dizzy as fuck right now. Those stupid glasses also made me dizzy. So. Christ. Uh, by the way, don't throw away those glasses. We're going to be using them in a, in a thing on Monday. Oh, Christ. Uh, I'm not using them on Monday. Fuck you. Well, you don't have to use them personally, Perry, but I just need you to save them, okay? Ugh. But uh, Ugh, thanks I, for being a sport. Just... Let me just get a couple of things here. Sorry. A couple of what? I'm not, I'm two, not saying... Two, I, I didn't ask you to... Do... No, Perry, I'm signing off. Don't go darting away. Obviously, don't bust my balls here. I'm just... Getting two things up that came in. Miss call. Why? Two things. Two missed calls from you. Why? Because I was. You were in the bathroom, and I thought you maybe died on the toilet, like all this. I died. I died. <laughs> well, no, I, obviously, I'd, I'd be very sad. I would be sad. If you, if you, you know, you dying on the toilet would probably be, that's probably going to be the way you go, but I just hope that isn't today. Well, thanks for not, um, for not killing me today. You're, you, you are killing me. Thank you. Clear. Yeah, let me just get to these two super chats that came in. Computer's frozen again. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what the purger's doing. Ah, oh. uh, here. To be honest, Tom, what does Perry even think will happen if Gina or Scott was just to show up? Like, I don't understand what he thinks will happen. Can you answer this, Perry? What is Perry? What do you think if what would happen if Gina or Today? Scott showed up? Any day. What would you think what would happen? Well, right now, I, if she shows up, she'll get her stereo back. That's it. But because I don't feel good... What, what could happen? Why don't you I keep don't it until Monday good. for the woman? Huh? Huh? Why don't you keep it until Monday? That thing, she's not going to be here by Monday. If she shows up by Monday, thank you. Congratulations. All right. Uh, this one says, thanks for the shout out. Uh, disabling the mouse is my favorite. Uh, oh, this is the guy that told me that too, I could disable your mouse. Uh, be, thank you to Al, uh, Al Gore. Uh, Glad you see my comment on Friday. I sent in a bunch of them. Yeah, no, you, you're a. And I got a shit again. Damn it! You're a hero. Oh, this sucks. All right, Craig, say, say goodbye to everybody. I'm gonna shut down. Say goodbye. Yeah, but goodbye, everybody. I gotta say take thanks a for everything again. and uh, have a good weekend. Blow a kiss. Thanks for everything. I'll see you folks in the snow if you find me in the snow. Bye. Okay, and with that, we are gonna. Uh, wrap up uh thanks everybody for hanging out a little bit after hours uh thanks to dbag again and uh yeah thanks to all you guys. i hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you on monday 5 p.m pacific good night Oh, and a big shout out to the boys of 92. I, I think they're going places. Uh, let's, uh, let's head out with a little more of the uh, latest boy band to take over the scene is uh, Boys of 92, and this track is called Perry's Place. We're breaking in to Perry's Place door one. Up for grass. You'll 
Doesn't know, but we're the crew. We're the 